We're back, everybody, for season three. Hi. TNG, season three. Hi. That rhymes, hey, and you know it rhymes. You it. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back. Before we start, I just want to really quickly say uh, there was a random TikTok where I had called out if someone can recognize this thing at the end of the clip. I'll give you a shout out. And someone did. So I uh, hope I'm saying your name correctly on TikTok. Little Gangi or Little Ganji? I'm not sure. It's one of oh, those. <laughs> damn, Little little Gangi did? Yeah, little Gangi did? <laughs> you were correct, Little Gangi. Uh, it was indeed. Brad Neely from Wizard People, dear reader. Yep, yep. So that was it. Well, anyway, welcome back to Newbie Star Trek, everyone. It's been a, been a hot minute since you've recorded, hasn't it? What yeah, is a hot minute? Every well, measurement of a hot minute. <laughs> well, the I, length I guess of time we've been gone. Yeah, <laughs> three weeks. There's some sort of mm-hmm. temperature to time conversion yeah. ratio. <laughs> when you hot warm up minute. a minute, it expands. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's but how long you can hold your hand on a hot stove. I've, I've heard people say a hot minute. <laughs> so, what's the difference between a hot minute and a warm minute? Hmm? Well, a warm minute <laughs> hasn't expanded. It's so you know how like gas. Oh, it's less time. Yeah. It's less time. Is that what you're saying? No, we should use. We should start using that. Cool minute, yeah. warm minute, hot minute. I have a cold minute. I've heard which a cold minute. Give me a cool minute. minute. I have heard, I have I heard, cold heard a cold minute. Yeah. Really? A cold minute? I have. In what context? Like, is that a slow thing? Like, give me a cold minute. That means I go faster? I have less time? I think it's synonymous with hot minute. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Yeah. Are you serious? I've heard cold minute. I have have heard of a cold minute. It's like inflammable, inflammable. What a country. You know what? (laughs) Uh, Just a cursory search brings up an urban dictionary entry for cold minute saying the opposite of a hot minute. Oh, so it's... You, a cold it's a minute is a very short period of time. Good. Where, whereas a hot minute... What? Wait, cold is short? Is well, it a hot, hot minute hot short? Minute takes a, yeah, because a hot minute means like, give me a hot minute, which means like, uh, like five minutes. Oh, I thought hot minute is actually faster. Oh, you know no. what? Cold minute. I shouldn't have brought Urban Dictionary into this. <laughs> that place sucks. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I'm just want, scrolling okay. down and getting more and more confused. Forget <laughs> this. Yeah, type in Houdini at the, on the Urban Dictionary. See what's <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're an explicit podcast. I can podcast, come up with, with enough ideas myself. But, but we're not you. that explicit. All right. All right. No, no. We're just right. the the curse word explicit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've, said, I've said some things that, that I guess could be construed as <sighs> urban dictionary wise. <laughs> or, or worthy, sorry. Urban, urban right, dictionary right. appropriate. Yeah. Like, yeah, you've you've coined Tapatio hot hand, for instance. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope that shows up on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, Ricardo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got it. The, yeah. the example <laughs> sentences. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to be like, uh, it, it's a, it's a. <laughs> God damn it. We're gonna go there. Okay, if you're a new listener and you're easily offended, pause here, dude, because it's gonna get a little crazy. Um, <laughs> the definition of a tapatio hot hand on an urban dictionary would be like, um, God damn it, what's a wharf? What, what's his kind? Uh, Klingons. Klingons. It's, yeah, it's a Klingon hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, kind of. Yeah. 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 It's a pure hand job than most. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a very it's pure like hand job. Yeah. It's like Becky was not interested in going too far, but she was interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Hey Tim, how how did it go on your date? Uh, it, it went okay. It could have gone better, but at least I got a top of the hot hand." <laughs> From that Klingon chick. She made yeah, me slice open her Klingon hands chick, first yeah. and then. Yeah. <laughs> she looked at me and she growled and then she went. That's me and amazing. I took you out and paid for everything and all I get is a top of tea with hot hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, ah, fuck. All right. uh, now we filter out a bunch of people that have left them out again. <laughs> all right. All right. Welcome. Everybody who's left, you're still cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Newbie Star Trek. Hashtag not all Klingon. <laughs> no. Does anybody even like Tapatio? 
I do. I do. I love Tapatio. What the fuck? Right? Yeah. Sarah, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you a Cholula? Yeah. Are you a Cholula gal? Isn't that kind of like a thing in the like in the early two thousands? I don't know. I thought no, we, no, no. It still exists. The trend is not a- <laughs> Tapatio <laughs> wasn't a hot sauce fad. Yeah, Tapatio. it's just a brand. It's not Tapatio is hot sauce a, crystal. Yeah. It's making a hot comeback. It's a, it's been a cool <laughs> minute, but it's making a it's making a hot comeback. Wait, I'm talking about the actual meaning of Tapatio. Hey. Oh, you do. Oh. What do you no, mean? I don't know. Oh, we're talking about the salsa. <laughs> no, no, that salsa is still, that salsa <laughs> never went away. I'm talking about the Urban Dictionary definition. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't okay. know. I've never heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's an actual Urban Dictionary <laughs> yeah. term that's yeah. just yeah. top of that our term. Our term. Our term. Yeah. No. Sarah, you're all over the place. There's, over there's the jean place. jamming and then there's tapatio hot hands. <laughs> tapatio jamming. Yeah, to, yeah. You don't want, to, you don't want can, a tapatio down there probably. No, no, right? no. It's going to burn. No, can, gonna a, burn. A, can public people the, add stuff to Urban Dictionary? Yeah, like, anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's exactly <laughs> no, why. Are you kidding me? Urban stupid. Dictionary yeah. is amazing. I love no, it. But uh, the problem is Urban Dictionary is full of contradictions because it's it's tons of people just putting whatever their region but and their region could just be their block that they grew up on. Believe this term means. I love you know? it. Yeah, I've learned but. many of things. Forever. Okay, no. And all too many things are just stupid little in jokes that like only apply to maybe like five people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's really talk about the top of your hot hand for a bit <laughs> because I think um, in the Klingon world, really, mm-hmm. if someone, if a lady Klingon, really. Now this is not the 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 top of, the original top of tea hot hand. I'm right, talking right. about the the what the kids uh, the the teenage Klingons are doing now, which yeah, is yeah, they yeah. literally put top of tea on their hand <laughs> and they give a hand job. Uh, I imagine the Klingons would like that because they're, they're into yeah, like probably. pain and yeah. So yeah, I, I imagine into for, it. amongst Klingons, you know, they fu- fucking probably bring out the tasers and yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 tase tase the dick while. <laughs> It's yeah, like, they because they have they, just two dicks, right? So yeah, oh yeah, one yeah. one dick's being tased, the other is being covered in hot sauce. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Are you talking about those prods that that Worf? <laughs> yeah, the paint sticks. <laughs> yeah, 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 from Worf's yeah. bar, bar mitzvah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just beat. The it shit actually out turned of him. him hot. Turned him on dramatically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had never been harder before. <laughs> this entire life. <laughs> kind of all horned up. <laughs> That's why he said thank you at the end. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh boy, that's why before you do the the bar mitzvah, you you say I give consent, and then because <laughs> <laughs> the sexual uh, thing. Oh man! Okay. Oh boy! Okay, we, listen, we, listen, 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 listen. Yeah. We're newbie Star Trek. Uh, if you've never listened to newbie Star Trek before, and you're still here somehow, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. welcome. Uh, so the the whole the whole premise is that. Uh, Ricardo and Sarah over here. I forgot we're doing a podcast. Yeah. It almost <laughs> seems pointless to talk <laughs> about all this now. haven't watched Star Trek before. So that's the premise. Uh, mm-hmm. And also we fuck around. Also, Dan is here and I'm Marvin. And we're also, we've kind of seen Star Trek. But none of us are like experts or anything. Yeah. So we're kind of re-watching TNG together. And we're having a good time. And we've entered season three, which is allegedly the good season. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's like when you okay. say the good season, are you impl- do you mean to imply that it is the only good season? No, it's like the season where people claim Star Trek TNG came into its own and really matured and became like a good show. Well, I, I guess we'll okay. find you out. Say this about That's every a season. far better explanation than what you just put forth. Yeah. Yeah, but they, a lot of people also claim this might be the season where it peaked, but I don't know for sure. Huh, I think, okay. I think, I think that, you, yeah, yeah. Because if that were what you were meaning to say, then you should probably say it's the best season. Some people, yeah, some people claim it is the best season, but we'll see. We'll see as we go through this season oh, we've together. We watched the first episode. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we watched Evolution this week, which uh, has been it's an, it's been an interesting one. It also uh, because there was a break between seasons. That one aired all the way in September twenty fifth of nineteen eighty nine. So, Dan, let's go back around the sun and tell us what happened around that time. Wow, oosh, it's been a while. The it's last been a hot episode minute. that. Yeah, it's been a very hot minute. <laughs> this this minute. minute is scorching hot. Minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the last time we checked in, it was July 17th. That was the last mm-hmm. episode's airing. Uh, season three debuted two months and change later on September 25th. In the meantime, 
Um, in the realm of video games, in August, Enix published the very first Dragon Quest game in North America, three years after its debut in Japan, only that in North America was called Dragon Warrior instead. I have a and question. Remain- yes. Is, so, so Enix was the original publisher of the Dragon Quest games, not Square? Yes, it was It was Enix. And when Square yeah. Enix did that merger, it all yeah. came together. So it used to be, hey, Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy? Yeah. Oh. Then it just became not. Nah, it's all everything. Enix. Okay. Enix I never... sent, sent his daughter to marry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> the they had a, Square. Then one was given a dowry. Yeah. That's a, and that's they combined. A, that's the, yeah. It's a plot of many uh, Final Fantasy games. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the first Dragon Quest in North America. Also in August, Nintendo released a Zelda Game & Watch system, which is a dual-screen foldable device that was one of the designs that the Nintendo DS was later based on. Um, the mm. other one being Donkey Kong. I actually That's had that true. one. It was pretty sick. Mm. And also, please note, the 35th anniversary Zelda Game & Watch they are now selling and, and advertising um, is not a recreation of this one. What is it? It's just a single, it's just a single screen Game & Watch. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's not the cool um, yeah, flip-up it's just a unique design. design that has like a retro like styling. Okay. Um, okay. September 14th, Capcom released DuckTales on Nintendo, starring mm-hmm. Scrooge McDuck on a Pogo Kane adventure that had a really good moon song in it. The moon theme. Yeah, the moon theme from DuckTales. Yeah. Go look it's it like, up. It's, it's very interesting when you play that game, because the music is pretty good throughout the whole game, and then you reach the final level, and you're like, what the fuck? This music is crazy. It's so <laughs> so epic and sprawling. Yeah. Um, but it was also notable for being a rare case of North America getting a release first. For the oh. era, that was very, very rare. And well, that makes sense because DuckTales is a mostly American property. So Yeah, but it's sense. not like Japan didn't know about it. It was uh, Wampaku uh, D- Duck Bolkan or something over there. Naughty <laughs> Duck's Adventure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But was, you know, you know the best thing about that though is that like even though that was the name, the official Japanese name, the the theme song was localized and they create they made Japanese lyrics for it, but they retained DuckTales. Woo! <laughs> that was still that's, part of the song, that's, that's but it wasn't to, the title of the show anymore. It's hard to it's hard to replace that with something Japanese. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, it's still, not, but even not, that's not as good as the Japanese name for Jersey Shore, which is still the best one. Oh, Macaroni yeah. Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, so not good. a lot of people know Naughty Dog was gonna they originally they were Naughty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quack, very quack, good. quack, 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 uh, <laughs> quack. <laughs> 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 Moving on, it's the music. Um, the Billboard charts, just to give a quick little snapshot of what it looked like. By September, it was full of the top ten were full of recognizable names, including Millie Vanilli, Cher, Ooh. Madonna, Gloria Estefan, okay. Janet Jackson, New Kids on the Block, and Paula Abdul. Dang. All of them were top in the charts at the same time. Dang. Right. What a in time. September. Gloria Stefan. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, that. wow. <sighs> All the names you you know. Cocaine <laughs> was what's at, what it's at, it was at its hi- at height. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fueling a lot of creative endeavors at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. All, all, everybody who just mentioned high oh, yeah. as hell on cocaine, dude. High as a kite. Yep. And oh, their boy. hair was permed. Yep. Well, it um, wasn't. It was all the cocaine that was curling up there. <laughs> <laughs> in the ni- okay. in, by 1995, when all the cocaine had dissipated, everyone had flat, straight hair again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, into movies now. Uh, notable releases in the interim include Weird Al's UHF, mm. Kiki's wow. Delivery Service, Weird Sex Al. Lies and Videotape, oh, The I Abyss, love that one. Yeah. Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Again, it, we've it's, discussed it's this amazing. before, but <laughs> Takes Manhattan is always yeah. a great title, yes. part of a title. Yes. The Muppets did it too. Yeah. <laughs> a Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream <laughs> Child. Um... Wait, did I already say the abyss? Yeah, I might, have, I might have repeated. Yeah. You these. said the I'm abyss because I remember thinking, "Oh, the abyss." I love that too. Okay, uh, Uncle Buck, and it's this is a this is a JCVD alert. <gasps> Kickboxer mm. in Sept- on September eighth. Yeah. That's the Frank Dukes one, right? Kickboxer? Mm. No, you're thinking of Bloodsport. Oh, I'm the blood, Bloodsport, the greatest yeah. action movie ever made. No, <laughs> based Boxer, on a lie. This Frank kick, Dukes is a kick, lying piece of shit. Well, that's true. <laughs> I, I agree with that. Um, a kick, uh, you said kickboxer, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Kickboxer was he was like riding the high of Bloodsport, and he's like, "Oh, I'll make another 
It's movie. basically another another uh, kickboxing movie. <laughs> well, it's a, it's another this time it, on the it, kickboxer. Yeah. It's well, it's another martial arts movie, but another tournament style martial yeah, arts yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Where he fights Tom Poe, uh, and they dip their hands, they wrap their hands, and then they dip them in honey and then glass. I don't right, remember really that. Good. Yeah. Wow, I have to rewatch Kickboxer. I don't remember that. Oh, oh man, so, dude. So you you draw both. You draw that's that's a triple danger because you're punching with glass. Yeah. But the honey also attracts bees and bears. Yeah. So that's so a, that's a lot to worry about in one yeah, fight. Yeah. 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 And then the Kickboxer spawned like twenty sequels that didn't star Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot like of shadow started- sequels. All those all those straight oh. to home video. <laughs> A lot of a lot of them starred um, this guy that was on this show, Step by Step, on ABC. Mm-mm. Oh my god, I love oh. Step by Step. Do you, uh, Sarah, oh. do you know Step by Step? You know, yeah, um, cousin of Cody. Step by Step. Cousin yeah. Cody was in the sequels to Kickboxer. Oh. Who later I know on Step by Step to be the show that wasn't Full House. I watched Step by Step. I still watched Step by Step. I mean, Step by Step. It feels right that he transitions to kickboxing after stepping. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, yeah. a lot of footwork. <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's footwork. Oh yeah, yeah. Stepping, stepping here, stepping yeah. there, kicking there, <laughs> kicking there. All right, I'm, I'm going to forcibly push us forward now. <laughs> oh yes. boy, the last two things on my list. They're both TV shows. September 19th, Doogie Howser, MD, a TV Hell series yeah. starring Neil Patrick Harris as a genius teenage physician. It's it kind of like and just stating the premise like that now makes him sound a bit like Wesley. Uh, no, yeah. he's not. A, he's not a war criminal. So no, yeah, no, 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 no. true, true. <laughs> he, he, hasn't, he, hasn't he did his job. To... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and finally, guy... and, did, and I'll conclude with this one. This one's really. It, it just struck me as really weird because I didn't realize it was so old. On September twenty second, Baywatch premiered on NBC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ba- yeah Baywatch. Hell yeah, dude. Is... I didn't yeah, realize that the... it only ran for like a, like two a se- like a season or two, and then just went to syndication forever. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. it made yeah. a ton of money in syndication, and then. And uh, they, they try to make Baywatch, Baywatch Nights. Nights. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. They're like, what if we took all these sexy people and we made it a procedural detective show at night? Yeah. <laughs> and just for whatever reason, I, I, I always it. thought Baywatch was like a early to mid 90s thing. Or like that's no. when it was debuted. But no. um, I had that completely wrong. So, yeah. No. Anyway, that was our extra long trip around the sun. Yeah. 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 Well, you wow. know what else Very is extra nicely long? Done, you, too. you know what else is extra long? Worst the dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, sorry, new listeners. We, we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. He has you two, don't, but we don't know. I don't know. I don't think yeah. I'll ever know. There's somebody on TikTok <laughs> that's like, yes, bet. we've done we've done schematics. He has the longest <laughs> dick. <laughs> yeah, Who? 100%. Uh, you know, Star Trek people. Oh, right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. People have bothered to figure out Luigi's length. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luigi's length. Yeah. <laughs> they counted the pixels and converted. That, that makes oh, sense. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> they, they counted the pixels of his hand. The, uh, of it, they're, like, look, they're like, measure his middle finger, and then those pixels <laughs> they translate to... Look, I ain't uh, even joking. You like the methodology was decided upon and enacted upon. I know. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm aware. So, <laughs> is he is he good or what? Are we, is he good? Sure. Sarah wants to know. He's like, so what is what? So what is happening with Lee? So what are we packing here? <laughs> yeah. What Should we give Luigi? him a call? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is Luigi working with? <laughs> what are we working with? Yeah, exactly. The situation Whoa. is fine. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, it'll do. He's it'll happy. do. He's happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You know, you know what else is fine? Our sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, dude. With ExpressVPN. They're willing to a shit, dude. <laughs> with ExpressVPN, you can find out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't want people to find out that you've been searching <laughs> how, big how is long Luigi? is Luigi's schlong, yeah, on Google. <laughs> You should connect to a VPN like ExpressVPN yeah. and then also go into incognito mode because Google can still track that shit. Yeah. And then <laughs> you should be fine to Google whatever you want. I was either that or just use DuckDuckGo. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna, it's I'm also just going to say that. Yeah. 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 Or look, Ricardo's big favorite, Bing. Ye- well, here's the thing, <laughs> uh, guys. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on, on this rant, but it's gonna involve ExpressVPN, the best, the best. You know what? They should spell best with a V. The best, 
VPN <laughs> in the <laughs> West. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's German. It's the best. Um, <laughs> um, so, look, if you want to get some extra cash, this is what you do. And you want to get some extra content. You set up the Edge browser, right? You sign up for the rewards program. Anything you search, yeah, granted, Microsoft will know everything you search, but you get those free points. I, I have it. I sign in, I search everything I search, I use Bing, and guess what? At the end of every like two months, I get like a $10 gift card to Xbox or, or Windows. Hey, you said you fought a few video games with, yeah. with that much searching, yeah. right? Wow, yeah. really? Um, so you get points just for doing nothing. For just Someone's already going to sell your information. You might as well make <laughs> some money off of it, you know? So you use ExpressVPN. You go and search things. Just search things all day. I do that. I do that at work all the time, <laughs> just to get extra points. Yeah. Um, and, and I just search random things. Just confuse the system. Also, if you if you search random they things, they pay more when they're confused. Yeah, but also imagine like there's an algorithm out there with your name on it. It says Marvin searches this stuff. Usually, he gets bored and he searches this Luigi's pixel dick. And, and <laughs> yes. but it, but just if you start search, like. Like just searching random things, it's gonna confuse Skynet, mm-hmm. dude. It's gonna be like, what the <laughs> hell? What? Why is he? Why is he searching kumquats today? You know? <laughs> and you're like, I don't even like kumquats. But you use the word schlong when Dick would get back so many more results. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Schlong. The word schlong must be particularly yeah. important. It 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 just popped up a bunch you of put uh, it in quotes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really me- needs to have that yeah. schlong in there. Yeah, it just it just wrapped back a bunch of Mel Brooks uh, jokes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, so um, use ExpressVPN. Search wherever you want. Porn. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. No one cares. Your boss doesn't care. Not with ExpressVPN because they can't <laughs> see what you're searching. Yep. Can't there you care go. About what you don't know. ExpressVPN. We have a code. What's the code, Marvin? Well, if you go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek, not only can you get access to ExpressVPN, but if you sign up for 12 months using that link, you'll get an extra three months for free, which means it is almost 50% off. It's 49% off. That's a really, really good deal for a VPN of that quality. So that's just expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. All one word. So there you go. Thanks for listening to our shill campaign. <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> we, I, 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 we're being honest. If you're a new listener, I don't have this ExpressVPN. That's I true. Yeah, was lo- I'm locked into a different VPN because I paid a, like a year ago, and it's these deals where you're like, oh, two years, and then they'll throw in the third year for free. Yeah, and then exactly. if you if you give us. 35 cents, we'll give you a fourth year for free. <laughs> uh, so I'm locked into my VPN, but Marvin and Dan, you guys are with ExpressVPN. And also, I would say in general, you should have a VPN in your pocket, I think. Yeah. Just because uh, you never VPN- know when you're going to want to search for porn. <laughs> well, also, it's, it's just we live in an age now where a net yeah. neutrality in America, at least, is not, yeah. doesn't really exist anymore. So yeah, it's good definitely. to have that VPN just to be able to use it for when you want a bit of extra security when you're looking for something or even when you're doing something sensitive. Like I use, I turn it on whenever I do my, my finances because I don't, I don't want my stuff getting caught. So yeah, that's a, it's express VPN. Thanks for listening to that, everybody. All right. What do you now, have to hide Marvin? <laughs> yeah, dude, what kind of money are you laundering? I got to hide my cryptocurrency. That's what. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are you going to run uh, for president Marvin? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That's what you're hiding all your information. <laughs> Now they require it. They're like, if you have, if your information is public, we don't want you to be present. You have to hide it. <laughs> well, then no one can be present. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, let's. Except pieces of shit. Um, no. Sorry, did I say that? <laughs> God damn it. Listen, listen. Someone hasn't asked this question in a few yeah. weeks, and yeah. she's really eager to ask it. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Whew. Okay, so this episode, it's interesting. There's a lot of cool things happening. First of all, the first thing I noticed is that there's new there's newer graphics. Yes. yes. Yeah, there's a new intro. Yeah. This intro is like the intro I think most people remember. And it's, it's very good looking. It's crisp. Yeah, it holds up. Yeah. Yeah. It looks it looks good. 
Um, and I think overall the SFX budget on the show has increased. They have new think, cameras too. Everyone budget. looks everyone yeah. looks like crisp and new cameras refreshed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're using like slightly wider angle lenses or something, which yeah. makes the ship look a bit bigger. Yeah. And also, also obviously, everyone has new uniforms. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. And yeah, so they went new uniforms, and then like not only is it camera new, but like I feel like maybe they got a younger directors of photography because there, there's like interesting, cool shots. Like Mm -hmm. stuff that you Mm -hmm. haven't seen before. Yeah, Um, maybe they're getting more comfortable. Like it almost starts with the the shot of Wesley waking up. It's almost it reminded me like a like a less interesting version of the Back to the Future opening. Yes, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone this like had just watched Back to the Future and the DP's (laughs) like, I gotta do. That's good. That was a good. It's like Doc Brown's fucking like (laughs) layer, dude. Uh, Bunsen burners. Yeah, yeah, food all over the place because this guy's yeah. messy. <laughs> howdy duty time. <laughs> yeah, howdy duty time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh um, man, this episode would have instantly been like ten times better if that's what Wesley woke up <laughs> saying. Howdy duty. <laughs> but I like how when it like it, you can tell that it's a new season. Some time has passed because like it it's such a close up of Wesley, and you can yeah. totally tell yeah. how much acne is on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's gotten much older. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah definitely. Like, yeah. That there is a pubescent dude. Yeah, dude. That's okay, man. You're you're just getting older. That's what happened. He, he, Wesley has time. definitely been searching Tapatio at Hot Hand on, <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> yeah. uh, was the internet around back then? No, uh, not to the public at large. I think okay. the internet, like AOL, wouldn't really be coming into prominence till like ninety one. Okay. I think. So he was reading about Tapatio Hot Hand. Oh yeah, yeah. this is this this is the in, still in the, the era of Playboys. Yeah. Like you, you steal a Playboy to look yeah. at stuff. That's what you still do. What'd you do this summer? I stole a Playboy and and um, <laughs> listened to some. What is it? First of the season. Yeah. All right. So the the season it opens up and it's it's new cameras. Uh, people coming back healthy. They've eaten well. They have a little <laughs> cash in their pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine like you're a regular show. And it's like okay, we got picked up for third season. Yeah. Now they're like, yeah. this is a this is an ongoing gig. Now yeah. everyone feels comfortable, yeah. safer. Uh, they're going know? to Red Lobster every fucking weekend, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, they get more get comfortable it? uniforms because yeah. uh, Patrick Stewart got a note from his chiropractor saying that the one piece suit was destroying his spine and they needed to change the costumes yeah. to prevent yeah. permanent <laughs> damage. <laughs> Wearing the one. Piece <laughs> Pee suit uh, it, sounds miserable. Yeah, yeah. Imagine having to pee, and you know, Oof. that oh. is a thing. How did they get out of it fast enough? Did they have to like take their shirt all the way down? Catheters, yeah. probably. When Catheters. you're one, when you're one piece, you have to take it all. You know, you have to take it all the way down. Oh, that sucks. Oh boy, yeah, it does. It really does. So I'm I remember, sure they're happy to be in two piece suits now. I remember uh, this is a, this is a kind of random, but when I was in high school and I was in student body. Our student body uniforms that year, for whatever reason, was a jumpsuit. So that meant every time we had to pee, we had to, <laughs> <laughs> we had to really? actually take the whole... It was like a painter's <laughs> jumper, you know? So we had to take the whole fucking thing off down a- around our, our waist. Whoa. <laughs> to our Wait, at school? So you're like topless? Was a person who decided that the- just like a huge fan of Ghostbusters or something? Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It was it was kind of a weird Was there any Hudson? <laughs> So like, wait at the at the Ernie urinal. Was- <laughs> are at the urinal? Are you just like without a shirt? Like, no, we have. So like, we quickly realized this after the first time wearing it. So we always wore shirts after that. But, but still, what about the first time? Oh, the first time we were like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like I have to take this off and be shirtless in here. Yeah, if the I other guys at the urinal. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I when I was in my <laughs> teens to my twenties, uh, every time I use the bathroom, not the pee, the other the other style, mm. I would take off my shirt. I don't know why, but That's I would fine. do it. That's and fine. And then and then I grew out of it. I grew out of that system. Yeah, some people have to get completely naked. I don't like that system. But <laughs> some people, some people, yeah, some people yeah. like get fully nude to go number two. Yeah. It's yeah. like a thing, which is weird. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> well, in, in, if you're in public, you got you to like just <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that, that's, a, that's a bit weird. If you're in a public stall, if you're, <laughs> you're, in, the, if you're in the comfort of your own home, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I you can know what you kind want. of understand it because you're yeah. like, I want to really make sure no poo gets on any of my clothes, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, get on your yeah, yeah, you clothes. could. That could be one thing. What the are other you thing doing? Could be like, I just don't want to feel any any inhibitions whatsoever. <laughs> I need to be able to flail around. Look, I kind of understand. 
I understand. I understand. <laughs> I have a feeling. No, I, I also understand. <laughs> that's, how, that's, how, that's how Klingons do it. They're like, oh, oh, or just like, oh. <laughs> like fucking like, Goku. Like, no, do, no, doing no a power clothes. charge. No <laughs> God damn. We, wow. we got off the rails really fast. <laughs> Okay, back back to the episode. Back to the episode. Wesley sleeping. Wesley sleeping. Wesley sleeping. <laughs> he wakes up. He's fucking late. He he wakes up and he's he's late and he's like, oh god, oh. And then he's like putting things together and you could tell like, oh fuck, he's like half asleep. He doesn't remember what he's doing, and he he's got a canister like that's open. And you're like, and then he doesn't even look at the. He just closes the canister and he just goes about his business. And I thought that's weird. Why did he close the canister? Hmm. But then later on, it comes back. Um, mm. And then there's there's a doctor on board, uh, Doctor Seuss or some sh- P- Paul Paul Rubens, um, and this doctor <laughs> this doctor's like, hey, <laughs> the doctor's like, hey, he's very excited, and uh, there's, there's a scene there's a scene in this thing, <laughs> you guys lost your shit, dude. No, because if it's Paul Rubens. <laughs> This is not even close to Doctor Seuss, but this this episode would be amazing if it was Paul. Okay, (laughs) Sarah and I have been the Navigator. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, okay. Sarah and I have been watching a lot of Blacklist, right? Mm -hmm. And there's one season where, out of nowhere, he's a prominent character. Yeah, one of one of Reddington's like flunkies, like henchmen, is fucking Paul. (laughs) No way. (laughs) As himself? Well, as as a character. Well, he's he's damn it. In the show, oh, Sarah, huge spoilers! Whoa, yeah. whoa, spoilers. This is a, this whoa! This is a, this is a newbie. Bleep that out! Bleep that out! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Sarah, mute Sarah for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah! Paul Rubens is walking around, dude. This doctor, dude. <laughs> this doctor, dude. Uh, he looks weird because is he with Starfleet? Why isn't he wearing a uniform? He looks like he looks, like my grandpa dresses. Yeah, he looks. <laughs> he looks like he doesn't belong. He looks yeah. really bizarre. Yeah. yeah, he's wearing a weird getup. It's not even like a scientist's outfit. It's no, just he's kind no. Of like- you know what he's dressed like, dude? A 1950s hobo. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Yes. He just needs a little or stick, like with a, little, yeah. a little, a little, little bindle, thing. a little yeah. bindle, <laughs> <laughs> and give him a beard, and give yeah. him like a, a fingerless gloves and a tuna sandwich. Yeah, and he'll yeah. fit right in, and, and like a, like a little cigarette thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing is Wesley walks in all late. Because he's supposed to, again, anybody yeah. else, dude? Anybody else, dude, that wasn't white, dude? And and <laughs> it wasn't privileged like this fucker, dude? Yeah, yeah. They would have they would have fired him, dude. They'd have been like, oh, yeah. you don't he's show the, up late, he's dude. He's the fucking pilot. The yeah. pilot can't yeah. show up late. Yeah. <laughs> like- and, and this this guy that's been, you know, he's probably he he's probably on OT, dude. This guy's on OT. He's tired. He hasn't slept because he, he's, he had the night shift, dude. He's like, oh, God, thank God he's back because- Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, you could tell. You could tell. Like, look at him. He just looks like he he looks defeated. Like, oh, thank God, this bitch is here. <laughs> if I showed up late, they would have fired me. But no, this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but my favorite thing is if you look at Riker, he's pointing at him. Like, ah, uh, got you. You're fucking late, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking. a great. It's a great look. I don't know <laughs> what direction he was given. But I love it. I, I love I, Riker. I, I, I do think Jonathan Frakes on general, when he's on set, he's kind of just like, mm, I mm-hmm. can do, I can kind of, I'm at the point where I'm allowed to kind of do whatever I want yeah, on yeah. set. Cause I, I am, I, I am Jonathan Frakes in general, William Riker. In general, I feel like there's cool things happening in the background all the time. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. most of the time. Like I have to take twice as long to watch an episode because I'm like, <laughs> Oh, what was happening in the background in this episode? <laughs> Well, it's actually a thing. Like uh, yeah. a lot of big TNG fans who rewatch a series, they tend to say, "Oh, when I rewatch it, I just look at the backgrounds mm-hmm. and I see yeah. what's going on." It's like a real thing, or because because well, it's not like other shows where, like, you know, like a lot of modern shows when mm-hmm. they have background elements, they tend to use a shallow focus lens, so it's like all yeah, blurred out. Yeah, you can't really yeah. tell what's going on. Star Trek TNG never did that. No. So TNG always let everything be visible. Sometimes you see there's shots in later seasons where you see uh, Patrick Stewart falling asleep because it's not his turn to talk. <laughs> and they've oh. been like they've been like shooting for so long because these are like 14 hour days. They're yeah, shooting. Yeah. yeah. So like Patrick Stewart's like, it's not, I'm just going to close my eyes for a second. Doesn't realize they're rolling. His eyes stay closed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I want to see that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep looking out in the background. Yeah, yeah, it's in like a later season where he's literally it. Like, it's not even the background. He's kind of in in line with everyone else in the foreground. And his eyes are yeah. just closed. 
<laughs> He's meditating. Um, but and this Dr. practice of watching the background has only become like really fun since the uh, Blu-ray remasters. That's also true. You see way more details now. Yeah, mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, now you can actually tell what's going on. You can also look around on the floor sometimes and you see like all the cable and gaff tape running sometimes. <laughs> and, oh, really? and And <laughs> oh, no. I just realized in this episode that Patrick Stewart has a weird head, weird shaped head. <laughs> it's accentuated <laughs> by the collar. The collar yeah, now makes... Well, I have to look now. Now I feel like I missed that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, like, how is it weird? It's like, kind of like you've gotten used to it because now you, you've seen X Men and stuff, and he's always been bald, but he still has a little hair, and it kind of looks like he's got like an alien head. Where kind of yeah, like, it's, it's quite it's, uh, elongated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I'm totally gonna look for that next time. That's yeah, crazy. it's really weird, wow. and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> that's why I want Jason Statham to be the captain. <laughs> He's got um, a normal head. He's got a normal head. <laughs> that's a skull head. you can set your watch to. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's symmetrically <laughs> perfect. Okay, so <laughs> Dr. Paul, he's he's they're they're in this quadrant to see this explosion and they're gonna take measurements of it. It's like a they're gonna send a, a, a little thing to to blow up a big thing and it only happens once the every egg. Yeah, the yeah, egg. Yeah, the egg. Like and a neutron <laughs> star sucks like star matter out of another star close by every yeah. 197 or so years or something like yeah. that. 196 years. So. It's just like, it's just like interstellar. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just like, it's, interstellar. Just, mm-hmm. it's just as beautiful. Yeah. What's the universal language? Love. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where's my daughter? Yeah. Behind a. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, a, whoa, huge I'm a, spoilers, I'm Marvin. a dead whoa. dad. <laughs> okay, so um uh this Dr. Paul, he's he all he wants to do is is look at this explosion and he, he he's kind of an asshole a little bit. Like yeah. he's, a, he's an asshole. He's a, he's a an huge asshole. jerk. He, yeah, first of all, he, he's he's like you when you lay the egg when you're ready. Um so the <laughs> and the eggs is like this little like probe that's gonna go in there and explode some shit. And then um this is when th- things start to go awry, which is they're going to launch this little probe and it doesn't launch. Well, first of all, the, the, the things start shaking. The whole, the whole ship mm-hmm. is like shaking. I don't know mm-hmm. why, because we've established that there's something creating fake gravity, right? Yeah. So there shouldn't be any shaking period. Yeah. So again, so don't, don't worry about it. Even though this See, episode's again, full of shaking. Yeah. Yeah. We've there's like, there's inertial, there's inertial dampeners on the ship, which need to be there. Cause if you're traveling, if you're accelerating to pass light speed constantly, you would turn into a smear inside the yeah. ship if if those didn't exist. Uh, but apparently, like the slight explosions outside of your ship will cause you to just shake like a crazy person. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Well, um, enough that this this guy gets knocked back. And while I was watching yeah, that episode, yeah. it is funny watching this him, guy like, a sells the these things so hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah. I was like, like, he's just like Jesus. spazzing out on the yeah. floor. <laughs> it's yeah. Great. This and he's actor, like grabbing on for dear life. He's like, oh, yeah. oh, oh my like, god. god. This this <laughs> actor, you, you're you're gonna recognize him if you if you're watching this if you're rewatching this episode with us. Um, he's in everything. He plays like a general in like different movies. He's <laughs> mm-hmm. he's like one of those guys he's he's he's, he's like got he's that guy yeah uh, in fact yeah, it's one of the a, lots of character actors uh, yeah. star trek in general loves to keep drawing from he's one, of, he's one there's of a movie there's a documentary called that guy and it's about those character actors mm. that are just in mm. everything and you're like I've that's seen a that guy great idea yeah. oh yeah. wow yeah i wonder if yeah. this guy is that. in that this guy i don't think he, uh, he might be in it <laughs> ken, ken jenkins very close to ken jennings yeah, uh, but, yeah. No, but not no cigar no, no. <laughs> yeah, um, if and you, then if you watch Scrubs, it was in that show yep, for some yep. time. Oh, right, right. I actually, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. He's great in Scrubs. Oh, he's Doctor Kelso. Yes, duh. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Actually, I never watched Scrubs, but I know, I know his name. <laughs> um, so we then we cut to the to the to the stupid goddamn intro. And we have a whole new intro. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And I think <laughs> stupid goddamn intro is a whole new and amazing. It's, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And and the first thing I think is the first thing I think is, oh great. The last episode of the season is gonna be shit because they spent all their money in their goddamn intro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I know, right? That's, oh, that's yeah. the first thing I think. Better not be. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be but shit, dude. The VFX this season, it's quite like even when you see the shots of the ship near the the red star. There's like shadows in the ship now. Mm-hmm. It looks really yeah, good. Like from the very from the very first shot of the cold open, it's like, whoa, like yeah. they've upped their game. 
How like, much did this cost? How many clipsters are we in for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like this, the, this the feels first like season. three clip shows. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have five clip shows. God, <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, it'll I swear all be the God. VFX shots. Because <laughs> <laughs> because like in the first two seasons, whenever you st- saw the the Enterprise traveling through space at warp speed, it kind of you could tell that it's a model that's still, and then like space is moving around it yeah. you know like in an animation now it does def it really does feel like it's really moving so i feel like they're they're really upping their game in terms of yeah. how the vfx is going it looks really great and it's it's a good sign of things to come i'd say and look i don't know a lot about fashion or 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 trends and shit like that but i'll say this in just based off of pictures and like just like in gen- just generally looking back at like fashion history and stuff like that mm-hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but like everything that came before us looked older. So like you look at a picture of somebody in their twenties, mm, yeah, and they in a black older. and white picture, and you're like, mm. this person's fifty nine, dude. And they're like, oh no, he was sixteen there. And you're like, yeah. no, <laughs> this guy yeah. is somebody's grandfather. And like, no, he had just graduated high school. Yeah, <laughs> that's and, like, yeah, when you look at those like you know vintage old yearbooks, and they're like, oh, this is the high school graduating class, and they all look like they're sixty. And you're like, yeah, wow. and you're, you're like, you're like bullshit. It's this nuts. is for a fucking movie. Yeah. Or it's a parody and everyone's like in their 30s. Yeah, it's why those movies were convincing back <laughs> yeah, in the day. Because yeah, yeah. they were like, oh, that's just what they look like. That's what people look like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Greece and- was nothing but actual teenagers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, yeah. God, Same for Greece. Carrie. Everyone definitely. That's just <laughs> how they look in high school. Yeah. And, and I noticed that everyone here now looks a little younger, even though they're older. Mm. You can mm. tell they're a little older, maybe because they, they like Riker definitely has been to Red Lobster one too many times. I mean, they're cheddar biscuits, dude. Because he looks a little, little, a little, he's getting a little comfortable. He's getting but a little comfortable. You know what? Beverly yeah. looks like five years younger, dude, because they changed her hair. Yeah. They changed the cut of like the like fashion changed like in these while they're in hiatus. They, <laughs> Beverly's I, I, back. I, I would I would bet money that maybe the costume designer changed within seasons. And everything looks sl- like sleeker. Everything looks cooler, and people look younger. And maybe, I, maybe they did. Be, I, also, I'm not sure. Could be the cameras too. Like it just, everyone yeah, looks great. it could be the makeup too. And yeah. like how they're. I um, mean, I noticed that. What's her name's? Um, Beverly. Um, I, ha- I no, have something. To s- um, oh. Mind reader lady. Oh my god. Deanna oh, Troy. Oh yeah, Troy, dude. Yes, her lipstick. Ah. Is like super what is it with you? Is never rem- never remembering Deanna. <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she is she looks the least that. in the show so that's like, kind of why uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um i was gonna say this <laughs> if you if you're watching the show on netflix which i that's how i watch it mm-hmm. um and you stop about um 533 532 you see where goddamn J.J. Abrams got the idea for the lens flares. Because you see a oh, lens I had flare. I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. And, and I was like, oh my God. He All he watched was this episode. And he's like, oh my oh, God. Lens flare, this also lens makes flare. sense because people always say begin in season three. And you just watch the first episode, and then that's like all you needed to start making Star Trek movies. <laughs> He's all perfect. So oh a lot God. of lens flare, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this makes so much sense now. <laughs> Everything is falling into place. I and, think uh, we just cracked the code. And the now scene, we know exactly how J.J. Abrams knows his Star Trek. <laughs> I'm going to take a... I don't even know how to screenshot on Windows, because I'm watching... I'm doing it on my Windows computer. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll screenshot it later. It, there's lens flare, and then Jordy's kind of like running a little bit. So you, mm-hmm. and it, it's kind of it dutches the angle dutches a little bit so you're mm-hmm. like oh this is this is definitely jj abrams stole this what a, um, like what a every hack. shot of jordy has like a like that yep. like kind of hovering like you know um see-through display like taking up half of the screen and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah well, now we know dude so so the ship's going crazy it's going awry the, the little bomb thing didn't float out but Riker. Cool as shit, dude. He like, yeah, yeah. He's like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Science is dumb. <laughs> um, so the doctor's like, oh, my back. Uh, doctor says, I need a backyotomy. Um, <laughs> and so, and th- they go to, they cut to the infirmary, and there's a ton of people there that are hurt. That yeah. Got the ship got fucked. Jostled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the doctor, when he talks, when he gets serious and he's talking like this, people talk and it, it reminds me of there's a cast member who of snl that went on to do the show the last man on earth what was his name oh uh not not 
Bill Hader. Bill, not Bill Hader, the other guy. That, Will Forte. Uh, Will Forte. Will Forte, yeah, Will Forte. Right, right. It reminds me of a Will Forte character in one of the sketches <laughs> where, where he just, he, he's like too, uh, like the too yeah, serious guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I could totally and, see that. Yeah, and he's doing a lot of overacting, but I like what he's doing. And then uh, it goes to the infirmary and it pans through all the patients. And then you see, who do you see? God damn, Beverly's back, dude. Yep. Um, what happened to Pulaski? No, they don't say this. So, uh, behind the scenes, yes. what had happened is that what's Diana Moldar? I'm sorry, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I'm, I might be saying that name. That's that's how you say your name, right? Diana Moldar. Um, I believe so. As somebody yeah. who knows, uh, I can't how remember to if it's Diana names. or Diana, yes. but what? It, whichever. Yeah. Uh, she she didn't want to do the Dina. show anymore. <laughs> yeah, she really? didn't want to do the show anymore. Yeah, really? she was like, uh, well, because they were they were doing like like I said, like 12, 14 hour days. Like yeah. she was like, wow, this is way more than I'm used to doing for network television. Yeah. I prefer not to do this anymore. So she left. And then Patrick Stewart was the one who uh, petitioned really hard for Gates McFadden to come back. So she came back. And also, he's also the one, like everyone was complaining about their backs, but he was the one who was like, I, I, we really also need to change costumes. At that point, he's like the star of the show, right? So they're kind of yeah. listening to him more. Yeah. And he, each of those new costumes, by the way, cost three thousand dollars. What? So <laughs> well, it makes sense. You know, you know what? what? As as good as the new costumes look, I can't help but look at them and think they they look like snuggies. <laughs> they look. Yeah. They are. They're made of wool, so they are. They pretty, look kind of yeah. snuggy ish. Yeah, they they look. Do really not, they don't look like three thousand dollars. That's for sure. Do you, <laughs> do you think? Of course, they have more than one, right? Per cast member. Oh, they yeah. have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In case they, they fucking shit themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like, we have cast members that are alcoholics, and they are always shitting and pissing <laughs> on the goddamn <laughs> costume. No, I, I, I think it was really high when we discussed this. Mm-hmm. Why did why did she leave? Why did Wesley's mom leave? Like the actress in the show? Oh, the... the- I, I don't know which showrunner it was. I think it might have been fucking Rick Bergman. Uh, but didn't he like did her? not. He didn't like her, so he fired her. Oh. Um, and then when Tasha left, he also was like really shitty to her when she left. She. So there's a story that um, it, it's really funny. Uh, Rick Berman was one of the producers on the show, right? And then he told a story on Twitter about how like, oh, uh, I have this communicator on my desk. I've had it this whole like you know like like uh, the yeah. one you have in your chest. Um, yeah, so he's like, Motorola. oh, th- th- this is what Tasha gave to me after her last day of shooting. She says, it's been a pleasure and gave it to me. And then fucking Denise Crosby t- uh, twitters back and goes, no, you bitch. That's not what happened. <laughs> really? What happened was we just finished my last shot. You walked up to me, said you won't be needing this anymore and took it from my shirt. So oh, really? <laughs> oh. What the fuck, uh, dude? Rick Berman's a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> so- oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, so yeah, that's, he's, he's, horrible. he's also. I think he was the one responsible for kicking Gates McFadden off as well. well um, but but Patrick shit. Stewart got her back because he liked working with her. Because yeah. they were, they, I think they be, they had become friends throughout the course of shooting season one. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of tapatio. <laughs> um, so she's back and she looks younger now with the new uniform. Mm-hmm. She looks great. Uh, still same deadbeat mom. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So Wesley calls the, her out on it too. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Yeah, holy Dr. Paul, shit. I know, dude. That was a baller move. Dr. Paul <laughs> Rubens, Dr. Paul Rubens is like, oh, we're back. And then he, he's like, oh, is this your mom? Like, oh, I hate my mom to be in the ship. And he makes it even worse. Like, talking yeah. about like not helping the fucking situation. Yeah. This, yeah. this doctor is a piece of shit, dude. Yeah. And as he's punishment, selfish. they should have said, you know what? You don't get to see this fucking explosion. Fuck you, dude. You piece of shit. <laughs> Turn I kept on thinking about them just <laughs> forcibly the like, keeping him in the so brig. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gets to see the cool yeah. thing except you now. Yeah. We're going to still do the experiment, yeah. but you don't get to see it, and we're going to hide the data from you. Yeah. So you don't Wesley, get to know Wesley, your name off the project. <laughs> yeah. Wesley, you're we're in charge you now. back your shares. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was being yeah. a huge jerk. He didn't yeah. care about anybody but this fucking project. And yeah. He didn't even Deanna care Troy about how you looked. confirmed that. She, she just was like, so this guy like is obsessed with this project and he like doesn't care about anything else but this project. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, he's one of those like, he's one of those gifted children on, yeah. right on the cusp of burnout. If 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 uh, Wesley is Gene Roddenberry, 
uh, this character is is Berman. <laughs> just a piece of shit, dude. Um, so <laughs> different things start to go awry in the ship. Like there's like a like a a Fanta that's just like pouring onto the the thing, and 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 Beverly notices it. And, uh, oh hey. yeah, the drink thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's food. a bunch of. Uh, it's either Fanta or cranberry juice. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, hey, there's something weird with the with the whole thing with the the ship's food maker thing, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. So little things start to go awry, and here's where you we we find out. Boom! Here are the storylines. One storyline will be about Wesley and his mom mm-hmm. reuniting. Her being a deadbeat mom, Wesley yeah. growing up without a mom had like it was it was like three men and a baby, but the baby was Wesley. <laughs> um, and Tom Selleck was deadly Worf, baby. Worf probably <laughs> Worf. If I had to guess, well, no, Patrick Stewart is fucking Patrick. Yeah, Patrick Stewart is Tom Selleck. Steve Gutenberg <laughs> is probably Riker. Uh, <laughs> and Worf is, is it Rick Moranis? Who's the third guy? Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Yeah, it was Ted Danson. Mm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So all of a sudden, Beverly, I'm, I'm jumping around here because this, this episode oh, wasn't yeah, that yeah. interesting. Yeah. That isn't, it wasn't that interesting. Um, <laughs> it's like, conceptually, it's a, it's very much a retread of previous episodes too. Yeah. Oh, of oh yeah. 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 This like is the like, threat at hand is like a combination of two different episodes we've seen before. It's kind of yeah. the, yep. The, yep. Ug- the ugly bags full of mostly water. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's that one. And like the other thing that like infected the ship before. Yeah. It's like the, and put you, those two yeah. ideas yeah. together so and it's just this. things. <laughs> Somebody, well, here's the thing is that they, front loaded the, the boring one maybe they're like hey last last season you put that fucking clip show at the end people are upset dude they're sending letters and then they're like okay we'll put the shitty episode in the beginning hopefully let's make it worse yeah. let's, make it even worse. Worse. Yeah. let's come sure back people- with a whimper <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it wasn't so, that great yeah look there's a lot of cool elements again there's always cool elements of things like the new credits mm-hmm. is cool you new uniforms are, are interesting but there's always something that gets you, dude. And this time, <laughs> it's a goddamn nanobites or nanobots. Yeah. Sorry, nanobots, um, nanobots. Nan- nanomachines, <laughs> nanomachines, nano things. So that's that's the A storyline, which is that Wesley. God damn it, dude! When somebody can lock him up, dude. <laughs> Wesley again endangers a whole it. fucking ship. And at the yeah. end, you know what happens to him? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. No. I can't he's believe privileged. it happened again. Like yeah, it, how could how could kind he of keep fucking crazy? He can't keep getting away with it. Yes. <laughs> you, you know what his prize was, dude? Can't you know what his prize was? Was to, was, was to practice tapatio hot hand with his lady friend. That's yeah, true. They the were end. just like, oh look, uh, yeah. she's pro- he's probably like bragging to her. Hey, yeah, you want to know yeah. why died. the ship was all getting fucked up and your mom is in the sick bay because she fell. Yeah, it's because of, of this guy. Yeah. You know who almost killed everybody in the ship, dude? <laughs> this guy, this fucking dictator. Yeah, they all like started getting the oxygen or whatever that like weird nitrogen. Yeah, it's, or whatever it the fuck. Suck, I was yeah. like, holy shit! Deadly levels of nitrogen into yeah. the into the, the bridge. Like, Thanks, hey, Wesley. baby, why don't we make like nanites and reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, back at it. Um, so all these weird things are happening in the ship and let's break down the two fucking storylines. Yeah. Yeah. One at a time. Um, so these fucking Wesley, dude. <laughs> Wesley falls asleep. He's privileged. As always <laughs> again, he's given access repeatedly given access to dangerous fucking material. <laughs> yes. Dangerous experiments. There's mm-hmm. no one watching over him. He's done this repeatedly guys. I'm yeah. tired of fucking when, well, will Starfleet learn their goddamn lesson and kill this fucking boy? Dude? <laughs> or at least just ha- have him not on the ship anymore. We Here's demand that you kill this boy, Starfleet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. Look, <laughs> at first I was just like, oh, I'm just generally mad. But now, goddamn it, I'm furious, dude. Because look, this is the thing, dude. He's done this fucking repeatedly. This bitch ass fool. Yeah. He's done this repeatedly. And Starfleet knows. Picard knows. Riker knows. Hey, remember when we were doing that, that simulation uh, fight and, and he had that antimatter shit in his fucking room? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And no one was watching him. Room. 
Yeah, no antimatter that, that will literally remove from reality any matter it touches. No one said any, and, and people then were like, "Oh, this was in your room." He's like, "Yeah," and they're like, eh, "That's funny." Yeah, we'll just and, transport and, it over to the other ship onto yeah. a spot where it's not even stable. And <laughs> and and people knew about this, and they keep doing it. In fact, I'm gonna say it: Picard should be brought up in charges, dude, because <laughs> he knew it, and it's it's gross negligence, dude. It's yeah. They're all culpable. Yes. When they all, when they, after they all decided we'll be parents for Wesley, yeah. and then let them let him do this over and over again. They're all, they're all responsible at this point. If he's gonna yeah, be doing this shit, if he's going, he's gonna be doing this shit. Have fucking Jordy fucking watch over him, dude. Have Data watch over him. Anybody, nobody have, even knew he was doing it. Yeah, yeah. When somebody shows up out of the blue, God forbid, they do something to the ship. They put a fucking guard on them. <laughs> but they can't put a guard on fucking Wesley just while he's doing his experiments. Like, hey, whew, he was, he's almost wiped out life. Uh, he almost, <laughs> you know, we went down to the sex planet. He almost fucking caused the whole fucking war down there. That's true. You know, mm-hmm. there's so many things, dude. And and again, very privileged because Picard's fucking his mom, I, I assume. <laughs> In fact, she comes in to see Picard and she's like, tell me about my son. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's good. He's, uh, he's a good student. Blah, no, blah. Tell he's like, me about no, my son. Tell me about my son. She gets all <laughs> yeah, Marlon yeah. Brando on him. She, she screams. <laughs> yeah. Stella. <laughs> oh, I was thinking more like Mel Gibson from Ransom. Yeah. <laughs> tell Where? me about my son. Where's yeah. my son? <laughs> that just made me think. I used to. <laughs> I still do it now, but. Um, Sometimes with my son, yeah. I'll, grab, I'll grab his collar, right? And uh, I'll be like, where's my son? <laughs> to your son. <laughs> yeah. That's he, loses, he loses his That's shit. So and he's like, do it again, dad. And he likes it when I grab his shirt and I pick him up, like off the ground <laughs> against the wall and go, where's my son? <laughs> he just loses it. He just loses it. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. oh my god! Because sometimes I'm like That's clean your room, clean your room, and he's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm like clean your room, and then he's like, no, and then I'll be like, where's my son? Tell him clean his room. <laughs> and he just loves it. Um, <laughs> but, but but this is um I one day I'll show him the movie and and he'll be like this is where I got it from <laughs> and you'll be like oh, oh I get it <laughs> Mel Gibson's a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay he hates the Jews <laughs> I know fucking Mel Gibson dude he let us down I, 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 there's so many movies he made that I like um okay so. Uh, she she does the same thing. She's like, "Where is? Where, tell me about my son." And he's like, "Yeah, he's like his dad. You know, he's like me. You know." <laughs> um, again, we still don't know who his dad is, dude. We haven't seen his dad. The Wesley does say, "Oh yeah, my dad told me about baseball," which is weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, we you know the, who he dad? thought to be his dad. Yeah. Okay. 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 You got. So me is there, that man. like a mystery to be revealed eventually? Like, do we not know who? Well, his so dad far, is? this is a theory that Ricardo has come up with that may or may not be confirmed. Which is, Ricardo believes that Wesley's real father is actually Picard. Right? Yeah. But he must. Does Picard know that? Because he was like, oh, he's his father's son or whatever. And I was like, well, he could oh. be referring to himself. Who knows? Yeah. Well, well here's the thing, Sarah. Check this Maybe out. Dude. Here's my theory. Than you here's my theory. <laughs> he fucked Beverly, right? They got drunk mm. one night. They fucked. And then Beverly, Be- Beverly was married, dude. Okay. Follow, follow this thread. Yeah. Beverly's married and he feels guilty. You know why? Because he was best friends. With Beverly's husband. Um, and he feels horrible guilt. And he's like, oh my God. He's also, like a Johnny Cash song. S- Sarah, I don't think you know, but uh, Wesley's, you know, the person who was married to Beverly, mm-hmm. um, what served on Picard's ship, the Stargazer. Yeah, and then uh, when the Stargazer incident happened, that caused it, when it was attacked by Ferengi and it was whatever, and quotes, uh, husband died. Yeah. Oh. Coincidence? Oh, very- Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Very interesting. Yeah. It's, it's I wonder all if sketchy. that will be review, revealed it makes one day. me think Picard is a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know what? He's done a lot of good things. He's redeemed himself. But still, he fucked his best friend's wife, dude. Mm. Fucked up, dude. And then he killed him, dude. He killed him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and now out of guilt, he's letting his stupid ass son run wild yeah. all over the ship. Yeah. 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 And almost kill everybody. One and- mistake begets yeah. another. 
Yep, it makes sense now. Everything's falling into place. <laughs> and and if there's a piece of shit on board, Wesley's going to befriend that person, dude. That is a trend. Mark my words. Keep, let's keep watching the season and you'll see every time there's a piece of shit on board, Wesley is yeah, right next to them, dude. Of course. Just fucking sucking on the teat of assholeness. <laughs> um, he's like obsessed with this guy. He's yeah. Like he's like, following him teach around. me more. Yes. L- I, l- he's like Darth Maul. He's like, let me be your apprentice. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then the guy says that horns. he's a, he's a what? A wonderkin or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the wonder- yeah. A wunderkin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's like, Showing do you know what that is? German words. Is that German? Goddamn <laughs> fucking Nazi. German. Yeah. Yeah, um, where do you weird. think kindergarten comes from? It's true. Oof. Wonder it's a garden of children, I guess. Well, That's anyway. literally what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's children's garden. Uh, everything starts going awry, dude. So uh, w- doors are opening, doors are closing. Nothing's working properly. Everything's going crazy. Their shields aren't Juice working. Juice is spilling out of the containers. And- there's, there's cranberry juice everywhere, dude. People are getting... <laughs> UTIs everywhere because th- we can't <laughs> find the cranberry juice. <laughs> and um, so the doctor's like, uh, it's important that we do this fucking test. And they're like, doctor, shut the fuck up, dude. We got a bigger problem, dude. <laughs> Nothing worked here. <laughs> and then they're like, well, maybe the computer's just dying. It's old. We should get the new MacBook Pro. It's got a, <laughs> Mac, it's got a Pro Max chip. Yeah. And they're like, the no, M1 they, Pro Max. Yeah, they're like, they told us this was going to last forever. <laughs> they told, they said this is the last computer you're going to buy. Yeah. How, why would they be a new chip? <laughs> why, why won't they support <laughs> Intel anymore? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's now supposed we have to a, just work. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to, I upgrade my iOS and now it doesn't work. That sounds kind of fucking fishy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so they're like, we should just buy a new Mac. And Jordy's like, I don't know why nothing works. And then, and then, um, by the way, fucking, it seems like Wesley watched Rebel the Cause or he watched like a James Dean movie. And he's like, yes, that's the hair I want. The James <laughs> Dean hair. Give me that. <laughs> uh, he's got like a pompadour going. <clears throat> a little he, bit. Yeah. He's looking, he's looking with, um, Wesley's l- like looking at what's wrong with, um, with Jordy. And he's like, he's like, oh, it's like something is like physically attacking our systems and kind of breaking them down. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what fucking stupid ass Wesley remembers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember those little nanobots I was fucking with? Uh, why did why did he have nanobots? <laughs> you know, when he goes back into his like little lab area and opens up that canister and checks inside, I can't help yeah. but think, damn, I'm out of pomade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a goddamn Murray's pomade. <laughs> fop. No, he's a fop man. He's a fop man. He's like he's like, I'm gonna have to wait two weeks to get fop. Two weeks from everywhere. <laughs> damn it, I'm a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dapper Dan. Damn boys. Uh, uh, we're in a tight spot. We're in a tight spot. <laughs> so, I wish he said that right there. Yeah, he, sees, yeah. he sees the nano, nanobots are missing. He's like, damn, we're in a tight spot. Yeah. <laughs> damn. And he could, he's He's like, he's like, does anybody have a hairnet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he, um, he has to serenade the nanobots back by singing yeah. the Soggy Bottom Boys song. <laughs> Man of constant sorrow. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, the ship goes on lockdown. Dude. They're like, something sketchy d- going on. Let's all get, let's all, everybody lock themselves up, dude. And pray. Uh, lock your, <laughs> lock your, lock your wives up. Because Wesley's out fucking... <laughs> Doing crazy shit. And Wesley's like out there fucking calling things like, hey, nanobots, come back, come back. <laughs> oh, he's setting like, traps. They're, they're just yeah. on the floor. No, he's like, on oh, the floor sure. setting traps like yeah. they're mice would, or something. If he, okay, this was I don't on roach motels. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, this is incredibly stupid because he already knows they're fucking with the engine yep. shit, right? Yeah, so they're why the engine computer systems. Why would you set traps in the bar? <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. You know, because when they get tired of the computer systems and they get really thirsty, <laughs> yeah. they have to get it's a drink sometime. Stupid. Yeah. It's like, I, 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 get th- that, I get it's a way for him to force to talk to Guinan, but Guinan can, she doesn't. You know she what? Can, Guinan she can should just the- walk into the engine room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why not? That's, I was about to say, Guinan's allowed to leave 10 forward and go to other places. No. Yeah. No, she's no, no, she's not. <laughs> she's confined. <laughs> Yeah, it was so super Wesley, weird. What yeah. do you think Wesley's putting in the traps? 
Oh, I don't know, um, but I just man, remember. I, I remember she was like, <laughs> oh. con peanut butter. She <laughs> was like, <laughs> she was like, oh, you're setting traps. She's like, I, I keep a pretty clean like place. I don't know why I'm you. I'm insulted set. over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. it was like he was setting like roach traps or something because I don't think your bar is clean or Which something. Is, yeah. is that like a thing? Still, I was in the just future? like, what? Yeah, like, I bet you there is, dude. Like that's the one thing that they can't eradicate: <laughs> the crabs, <laughs> roaches. They got, they got rid of them, dude. The crabs, herpes, yeah, yeah. gonorrhea. It's no cliche that the roaches yeah. will survive anything and everything. Oh yeah, that's roaches why, dude. on the they're Enterprise? even on spaceships. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, infested God. with roaches everywhere, dude. Oh God, that's why they have to make the food. They can't keep the food in the in the thing. Like they just make it, they zap it. You know the food makers. Mm. Yeah, 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 zap yeah, it, yeah. and they put the trays back to zap away because it's like goddamn roaches. The roaches. The, yeah, yeah. 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 But there's, like, sure. like, there's like, <laughs> <laughs> but there's like three or four really messy crew members. Yeah, who just stack their plates in their room. Just um, horrible yeah. fucking people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, uh, he's talking to Guinan. Fuck, I remember. I remember the name, dude. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> wow. I'm gonna celebrate. Yeah, yeah dude. So Guinan oh, yeah. is like, uh, that's fucking insulting. I've been a bartender for hundreds of years. No one's ever blamed me for having a bad bar. What the fuck is up with you, dude? You're being and he's a punk like, ass uh, bitch. I may have let some stuff out. Uh, <laughs> a, a symbiote. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it, on the loose. It may and, be committing but, a war crime as we yeah, speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and no one says, Wesley, to the brig, dude. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to figure this out. But till then, you can't be out, dude. You, you, this is a repeated offense, but no, they're like, you know what? If Picard's f- fucked your mom, go on ahead, dude. Just go on ahead, dude. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Apparently. And then, you know what he does? You know what makes him a bigger piece of shit, dude? He doesn't tell anybody. Yeah. He still yeah. waits. Yeah. He tries to solve the problem himself and look, I get it. Like that's the, oh, that's the lesson we're learning. Like, Hey, ask for help when you need help. Don't just try to do it yourself. But God damn it. We haven't. I remember that episode of My Little Pony. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone does. But dude, you know what, dude? Shame on we. Shame on we. Shame on me. And then shame on we. Because you fooled us 300 times, dude. They they should know already, dude. Mm. You know what? The captain looks like a chump, dude. Because he has to get his mom's help. Dude, the first thing I would do if something's going wrong in the ship, where the fuck is Wesley, dude? Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing, Wesley? Picard just turns around and goes, yeah. Wesley, were you were you doing something? <laughs> yeah, what were you doing? Were you messing with antimatter this time? I should just grab him by the collar yeah. and pin him against the wall. It's like, yeah. what you doing to my ship? Where's my son? Where's my son? <laughs> <laughs> and he starts, starts he just starts laughing hysterically. Just starts laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Picard asked calmly. Yeah. Uh, he, he, Wesley, did you clone yourself again? Um, <laughs> um anyway, and, and then the doctor again, very asshole he all he wants to do is his own shit and and jordy's like hey, they they fig- finally figured out there are these nanobots that are killing people and then uh the beast storyline which is wesley yells at his mo- mother for being a dead meat finally yeah. uh he uh, wesley's old enough and we- i don't know what beverly what does beverly want he's like tell me you have a girlfriend you don't huh? just being nosy <laughs> And yeah. Wes, Wesley's a teenager. He's like, dude, I just, you know what? I, you want to know what I've been doing, dude? I've been trying to kill everybody in the ship with nanobots <laughs> and masturbating furiously. That's all <laughs> I've been doing, dude. Whenever I'm not masturbating, I'm trying to kill everybody on the ship, dude. So happens when I you're have, gone. Yeah, that's what happens when <laughs> you're a teenager and your mom's not around because you get angry and all you do is what masturbate. He, he like screamed at her. She was like, yeah. oh, you're 17. He's like, I'm an officer or something. I'm yeah. an acting officer. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. He's yeah. He's, he's like crazy, like fucking I don't know. mood swings. Well, yeah, he's also being like fed some intense. bullshit by Doctor Pee Wee Herman over there. Yeah, because mm. he's like yeah. trying to fill his mind with like you're we're we're of a different breed, you and I. Yeah, we're yeah. the types of people who can play out baseball seasons in our heads yeah. as a reward. We're the type of people that show up to baseball games and we keep score in our head. I know <laughs> you're fucking <laughs> crazy, <laughs> like I am, Wesley. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the score. The, the the you know what? We take points. We do the point system. <laughs> I look what? my wife can do that. Like she can keep score. Because you can keep score like if there's like a if there's like a, a, a ground out, if there's like an out, like you keep you there's literally like scorecards you keep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's only people that could do that, which is like Michelle. Mm-hmm. And there's people that don't care that I just want to go to the game and I want to 
get a little drunk and have a hot dog and not yeah. keep not do fucking math. Right. Look at the look at the the scoreboard and be like, that's what's going on. Tell you what the right. score is. Yeah. <laughs> tell you what, my yeah. team's losing. That's what's happening. <laughs> like, what inning is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I don't need to keep score. Um, but Wesley's <laughs> the type of kid who's like, yeah, I know, I know how to keep score in a baseball game. Um, <laughs> And so um, the the doctor's one of those people too. Yeah. Um, so he's he's like, well, these nanobots, you know, like I, I let them loose. Uh, well, I didn't leave them loose. I let the canister open. They got loose, and 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 this is, and no one's like, God damn it, lock him up until we figure this out, dude. Everyone's like, all right, well, you know, well, let's get those nanobots back in the, in <laughs> yeah. the thing. It's like, yeah, let's figure it out. Yeah, let's, yeah, figure, let's it figure it out. Let's figure it out. It's fine. Yeah. Um, and then the doctor's like, ah, let's just zap him. Let's just shoot him. <laughs> He's like Doc Holliday, dude. Always trying to <laughs> shoot things. And then um, Wesley, Data, and Jordy are all trying to figure out, because they, f- they figure out where in the thing they're at, the, the, the panel, whatever the bullshit is. Mm-hmm. And the doctor just loses his shit because he wants to see his goddamn Haley's Comet. Yeah. And he fucking shoots him. He shoots yeah. him. Well, before the, just to put it in context, right before this, Pulaski had posited not Pulaski. Uh, it was she's gone now. You miss her, uh, Crush. I get it. <laughs> Me too. Uh, a Crusher had posited that they're alive yeah. and they're probably intelligent at this point. Yeah, they're fucking. Easy. Yeah, they're making a society. Yeah. So she was like, "We can't just kill them. We should probably yeah. move them." And the other guy, the doctor, is like, "Let's just kill them. I want to see my star blow up." Yeah. And put yeah, my and they like it. they like channel data to yeah. like. Speak. Oh yeah, well that's later. That, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But but the, these nanobots are already fucking dude, and making smarter nanobots, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, not using protection at all. No, and um, and so the the doctor fucking shoots them, and guess what? There's fucking CO two everywhere. It's getting crazy, dude. Yeah, now they're mad. They're like now they're they're riled up, dude. Yeah, and and the captain's like, you goddamn piece of shit, dude. Get the fuck out of my sight. Go to your room, dude, and go keep scoring your head, dude. Um. <laughs> He's very upset. The lights are going, and the, it's it's chaos, dude. They're they're like mm. spiraling out of control. And then uh, this doctor is such an a hole. He like keeps telling um, what's her name, the mind reader. Oh, Deanna, Deanna, Deanna Troy. <laughs> uh, he's telling her like, get out of my brain, get out of my brain, fool. And and she's like, uh, I could sense that something's sketchy, you know. Um, yeah. I, they they reward this guy. He's repeatedly an asshole. He almost he helps. Wesley kill almost kill everybody, and then they're like, "Okay, we'll reward both of you." Wesley, you're still you're still our driver, dude, our baby driver. <laughs> doctor, you keep wearing your hobo gear and, and explore every one. Yeah, yeah, get in the record books, get in the history books, because he almost killed us. Um, yeah. But anyway, they they the nanobots try to kill the doctor while he's sleeping. <laughs> they try yeah. to shock him, and then he gets scared. And he's like, he's like, Picard, help me, protect me. <laughs> and if I was Picard, I was like, no, you're dead, dude. I'm going to let those fucking, the rage against the machine kill you, dude. Zach, <laughs> Zach Dilla Rocha is going to show up. <laughs> um, and so uh, Data, because he's, uh, he's smart and he knows nanobot speak, uh, he starts looking at the ones and the zeros, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, these guys have gotten smart enough to talk now. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to let him possess, possess me <laughs> the old yeah. possession trick. Yeah. He must've seen ghost. He's like, Oh, Whoopi Goldberg did it. Oh, AKA. Whoopi did it. Guinan yeah. did it. So yeah, Guinan did it <laughs> yeah. already. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it too. Yeah. So, um, he plays, uh, the, the Isley brothers song and, uh, <laughs> Unchained Melody, or whoever whoever yeah, sings yeah, that. Yeah, Unchained, Unchained Melody. Melody. Unchained yeah. Melody. And he, he says ditto. And he uh-huh. lets the nanobots get in him. And uh, <laughs> and they talk, and they're like, why the fuck did you guys try to kill us, dude? Yeah, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? For, first of all, they, they're like, you guys look stupid. <laughs> you guys look like stupid <laughs> fucking people. Every alien, it's, it's always a thing. Like the other, uh, the little, little sand people were yes. like, your ugly bags of mostly water. And these guys are like, you look really strange. Picard's like, just, well, you look strange. Okay, here, here's how every first <laughs> conversation with the, the new species thing. goes. You have to say something about how funny like yeah. someone looks. And yeah. then you have to say at some point, we meant no harm. Yeah, yeah. Mm, we meant no yeah. harm. You're ugly. <laughs> yeah. You're ugly, but yeah, we meant first, no harm. First thing is like he's like, first thing off the bat, let's get out of the way. You guys are fucking ugly as shit, dude. <laughs> Two, we didn't mean to kill you, baby. We, we're just so excited. Um <laughs> This is my life's work, you know. 
<laughs> and so the nanobots are like, we're, you know what? We're so smart that you guys are, and you guys are so stupid letting a child fucking handle us, dude, <laughs> that we want yeah. off the ship, dude. Get us off the ship. Yeah, just take Get us, us off. away from this child. We'll call it, we'll call it even. We, we, won't hurt, we won't hurt you if you just get, get us the fuck out of here, dude. And they're like, all right, well, it's cool. Fair. Yeah, it sounds fair. And deal. then they're like, you know, we're even help this bitch ass doctor who's scared of us now. We'll help him rebuild his fucking stupid egg and send it off. And they they do it. They they help the first of all the doctor apologizes like oh, I'm at your mercy, uh, <laughs> stupid ass doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't mean your harm. I'm at your mercy. And they're like, What is mercy? Does not compute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I want the Star Trek uh, crew members to meet uh, Vicky from Small Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think you think Vicky's is as Data's long lost daughter? I was just about <laughs> to say, yeah, Vicky could play could play Data's daughter. Yeah, well, uh, you know what? For for a child, she was a really good actress. That little girl. Yeah, she was. She played a good robot. I I always believed she was a robot. <laughs> really. <laughs> I was a, I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah. Like, so they build her, and she's a great actress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like her hands would turn blue, and then then the drink was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I explain that. Uh, I can't. I can't this explain, bit, man. I, 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 I can't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> people at MIT they figured it out, and they're like, well, "Let's build a perfect actress." Yeah, <laughs> to build a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so um the doctor apologizes god damn it this ep- it's the first episode of the season and we've already lost control <laughs> um <laughs> the doctor apologizes the nanobots fix his fucking stupid egg wesley nothing happens and there's no repercussions to his stupid fucking actions um the 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 doctor pulls some strings and gets him a fucking planet, dude. That's how much pull this doctor has. He got yeah. him a whole planet. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty badass that they're yeah. like, oh, you, you could spread all over this huge planet now. It'll just be a tiny little nano. Like yeah, imagine lay the waste size of the local ecosystem. <laughs> yeah. That's your will. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy everything you see here. To stay on this planet. Eh, just dump yeah. them there. It's and hard. then once you've evolved sufficiently to become a megalomaniacal society, <laughs> then we'll back nuke to you. Us. <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Uh, oh, look. I, well, you must know, but I don't know. But because I haven't seen the show. But what if? Here's my theory. Nanobots evolve into the Borg. The Borg time travel. Boom. Mm, well, I will say this: the Borg do time travel. It is a thing. Okay, mm. so but you'll, but you'll, but you'll see. My you'll theory see. may be correct. Then mm. is that what you're saying? Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I, I hear you, dude. Mm. You just have to wink once if I'm right. Mm. Um, Interessante. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, stupid Wesley creates the Borg um, in this episode. <laughs> um, everyone's happy. Um, <laughs> Stupid Beverly goes to fucking to Guinan and is like, "Hey, see the person who complained that I don't can't remember Guinan's name. I got it right, dude. <laughs> Finally, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, um, uh, so she, but Beverly goes to see Guinan, and uh, I don't know what the fuck they're ha- they're having like caramels. I want some weird candy. <laughs> I think it's some weird Mexican candy in, on that table, dude. On that bar. <laughs> I thought it was like a." Uh, like Tapatio fucking candy. Like I, I was looking. Uh, okay, full disclosure. I happened to be watching it on my phone at the time, so it, you know it was very low fidelity, and I currently mm-hmm. have a cracked screen. So <laughs> through all that, Damn it looked kind of like uh, like sushi kebabs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It, like it, a bunch it, of nigiri on a stick. <laughs> you know what yeah, it I looks don't know like? What the fuck this is? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it looks like um the candy that's like it's like in the shape of fruit. But it's really candy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The really, really cheap ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're like grandma's yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. That, that you love never to get want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like I have a whole bag full of them. And you're like, grandma, I don't fucking want these, dude. These are shit candy, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what brand these are. Yeah. I, I, I. It's like though you see the one that's like a little pineapple, and you're like, yeah. what is this? I don't want. You're this. like, grandma, this candy has <laughs> asbestos love in it. Candy. <laughs> this is kind of asbestos and lead. Hey. That's how old this candy is. Because it's always the same. Cons- it could be a. 
it could be fresh or 10 years into the future. It mm. always, it's the same cons- consistency. Mm. Um, okay. So uh, Beverly's like getting uh, this kid. I don't know what's happening. I don't want, oh, I want to know what's going to happen this kid. And she's like, well, you know, and she's like, you have any kids that do that? And she's like, oh yeah. We find out that Guinan has a bunch of kids, hundreds of kids, like hundreds of kids. <laughs> She's a deadbeat well, mom too. Well, <laughs> yep. well if you like live hundreds. that long, that, that makes sense right. that you'd have a bunch right. of kids. I don't know how long Guinan's been around, though. Yeah. Not exactly. Well, she did say uh, it's a few hundred years. She actually did say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, remember, remember, um, she did the um, the kung fu fingers with that. Yeah, with yeah, El- yeah, El- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we know that she's got Palpatine powers. So she's got to be at least Palpatine's <laughs> age. <laughs> so whatever, however old he is. Yeah, she can just um, clone herself to come back whenever she needs to. Yeah, <laughs> you thought I was dead. Uh, <laughs> I was using kung fu stuff. Um, is that stance the Palpatino hot hand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, ah, um, I cloned myself <laughs> with Tapatio. Uh, <laughs> in a vat of Tapatio. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's how the Joker I was want made. Jedi light, I, I want Force Lightning to be to be called the Palpatino hot hand, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tapatio Lightning. Um, so, um, they're, they're talking, and guess who walks into the bar, dude? Fucking Wesley, dude. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know how you get rewarded? By almost killing the whole a whole ship, <sighs> get to go on a date. Yep, get to go on a date and talk about how you almost killed the ship. Yeah, get yep. a top of day hot hand at the end. Yeah. Um. There's a little trivia. Here's a lesson I learned in this fucking episode: privileged people will always get away with shit because they're privileged. <laughs> that's really what this this episode was yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a that's the moral of this episode. Yeah. Yeah, is that I can't if, help but look at one of the girls sitting down at the table. Let Wesley and his new companion, like you know, walk over to. There's a girl sitting there who's dressed like two Scooby Doo characters at once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. she is Velma and Daphne yeah, combined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, why, why, why are they the only ones dressed like wacky, colorful colors? <laughs> and actually, you can interpret that green bit as Shaggy. Yeah. Shirt, <laughs> yeah. 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 She's she, Scooby Doo the girl. Yeah. She's like, she's like the full metal alchemist homunculus com- combination <laughs> of, of all three of those characters. Um, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is true. I, there's no way to prove it, but I think it's it's it's, it's, it's true. Um, there's a there's a redhead kid mm-hmm. in, in 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 part of this part of the kid group, mm-hmm. and according to the the trivia to, of this episode, and from what I've read, mm-hmm. it's Scott Grimes. It's the actor Scott Grimes. He grew up to oh, be. Okay. It's Scott Grimes, and Scott Grimes is in the Orville. Mm-hmm. He's one of the leads of the Orville. He's a redheaded kid. Um, so the red kid, head kid grows, grows up and he's Scott Grimes, but he's an extra and he's uncredited. But if you look at his face, I'm pretty sure it is him. I'm pretty sure it is true. Um, he's, he's listed. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's right? listed. Yeah. He's listed and, in uh, um, uh, memory alpha as being okay. one of the people there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yep. Uh, so uh, this actor, this extra grows up to be in the parody show. Hey. To Star Trek. Man, Seth, well, Seth MacFarlane is such a big TNG fan. So he probably was like Scott Grimes auditions. And he's like, dude, were, were you in Star Trek? And then yeah. It's probably enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It could have worked there. out just like that. Very possibly. Yeah. 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 Um, so there it is, dude. This is the first episode of the season. <sighs> first episode, Wesley is already trying to kill everybody. Yeah. Beverly's it's, back. It's, Still a Debbie mom. Back to basics. <sighs> yeah, we got Beverly back. We got Wesley trying to kill everyone back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. You know what we didn't see is is, is Riker trying to bang familiar somebody. storylines with microscopic life forms yeah. combining together Riker to become wasn't a really, collective consciousness. Riker yeah. re- wasn't really in this episode too much. Yeah, yeah he, this one he just kind of phoned it in. He was just kind of like, yeah. well. Hey, he did his work. He pointed at Wesley. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good point. A very yeah. good point. Yes. Yes. A lot of, a lot of finger work. Point. <laughs> I would probably give this like a seven and a half. It was like, okay. Um, it's good to see the VFX and general upgrades to the show happening. That's nice. But yeah, it is exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing everyone's new outfits after the summer. Yeah. I, 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 forgot, I forgot to mention this. Um, there's a scene where like, of course, uh, remember we talked about it earlier where Beverly mm-hmm. goes to 
Picard and says, does he have a girlfriend? Blah, blah, blah. And oh. I went in Picard to say, uh, your son's a piece of shit. He had a beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. He got shallow yeah, health. we were yes! talking about this. We were, we're like, yeah, yes, she had a yeah. Muppet. Yeah. He had yeah. the Muppet. He, like, <laughs> <laughs> he had a Muppet girlfriend and she was beautiful. Yeah. Kind of, that's kind of almost was, exactly what it was. <laughs> she, he got shallow held yeah, and he was he perfect. Got she, he she got was, catfished. Yeah, but, but you know what? In, in his eyes, she was beautiful and, but she was beautiful <laughs> on the inside and that's all that mattered. And he, he should, he should have said, look, give me the old stymie thing where like, it makes me think you're beautiful because <laughs> I, I want to see your inner beauty <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> Oh my god. This is the type of thing that Wesley would say. <laughs> and fucking Wesley. And and but he didn't he he didn't tell her about that. He he didn't go, hey, this is really he just looked really uncomfortable. He was kind of like, to be yeah. fair, I think yeah. that what wasn't that an episode where Picard was like, you know what, leave me out of this shit. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he was pretty he standoffish in that yeah. episode, wasn't he? He's like, I don't need to know, but this is not my problem, dude. He's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, this is a Riker problem. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I get. I why didn't why did she only go to pick? Everyone agreed to be his dad. Yeah, so like why why didn't he like she go did, around? Why did she go to, to like Riker, Riker and, go, and Worf? Yeah. You know, like what we're Worf seeing. Worf, well, no, like, actually, what that was was a failed booty call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, she was like, like tell me about my son. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cavity mm. search. <laughs> For all time's <laughs> sake. <laughs> God uh, damn it, dude. Yeah, we did mention the Muppet thing when that happened. That was... Mm -hmm. yeah, remembered when he got catfished. That was yeah. a, a big deal. Yeah, then, I wouldn't even say... Because he... he, he, he she was kind of. She was like, <laughs> "You don't want to. You don't want to be with me." You know, she kept. She kept telling him like, "If I remember correctly, she kept going like, no, this is.' You know, like she was interested in him, but like she was kind of. Well, she kept saying like, "I can't do all these things you're saying yeah. we can do like yeah. five times," and he keeps that. He kept saying, "Yeah, don't yeah, worry, like, you'll get to do it one day." Yeah, and when, she's like, "No, I can't. Listen to like, me." I yeah. literally and he just can't won't do listen that. to her. He's not a good listener. Yeah, he, he just was, doesn't like. He started saying in the Aladdin song we'll travel the world <laughs> and she's like no <laughs> she's like no we won't we and he's like yeah, trust me dude you will <laughs> let me off of this magic carpet <laughs> yeah. I have to go back and do my my duties <laughs> my, my Muppet form <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> my Muppet duties don't you dare close your eyes I have to it's part of my job <laughs> <laughs> hold your breath oh. it gets better <laughs> I I give this um I'm gonna give it a five Oh, five starships. Middle of, of the road. Man. Middle of the road, dude. It's just right. Yeah, uh, I agree. Like, do we do we are we are we giving them scores as if they're like grades, or are we giving them scores as if like it's actually a scale? Like one know? out of ten, no? Yeah, one out of ten. If 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 ten is 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 an A, mm -hmm. then 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 five is like a D, right? Or my my A five my, is my, an F. Yeah. Five is an F? No, yeah, it's, six, it's it's six. middle. It's average. It's no, middle. six is a D. No, remember it's, it's uh, oh 100 God. to 90 is, is an A, what? 80 to 90 is a B, 70 to 80 is a C, 60 to 70 is a D, and anything below that is an F. Is that not how your schools worked? <laughs> that's I don't like, know, that's dude. a 90s I, I era really interpretation school, of that. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, then we need, did, a, like, we need a grading that curve. Up a little bit. Yeah. I think oh, later they? on they determined that 60 was the cutoff for failure. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Or okay. I mean, like, or was it? Yeah, anything, I, anything I think, below seventy or something? I forget. I think, really? okay. I think below below fifty, it's failure. Okay. Well, well, I, I, I'm thinking of it. Hey, oh, this is a great conversation because we, we we've gone through two seasons and never have we discussed a <laughs> goddamn scale. I think we've tried <laughs> before. The, yeah, yeah, we've tried. I, I think just anything succeeded. anything below a five is a negative number, basically. Okay. 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 Like, like it, it, it's, it's bad. And there are things to explain about why it's bad. Yes. If I give okay. something a three, then it'd be really bad. Let me explain why it's bad. Anything over five is five is just average. It's like, eh, this is, I never okay. want to see this again, but I, it was benign to me. It okay. Didn't so would me. you equate five with like utterly forgettable? Y yes. Yes. Okay. I'm never going to remember about these nanobites unless oh. <laughs> they become Borg. Like I said, <laughs> <laughs> well, I could very well, easily mix this episode up with three other episodes. That's yeah, true. Exactly. exactly. I think I then th I think then I would adjust to mine to like a six out of ten, just because I think it's it's better than middle of the road. But I think in general, there's a lot about it that's just like, ah, eh, it it could it could have been 
more interesting maybe it's like it's like if you took those concepts from that first season right and in the first season those concepts were not executed super well Mm -hmm. and in this season that same concept with x was executed uh competently so that's why i'm like all right this is fine this is that same concept executed competently it's okay i think i think it's worth having all right so your new score is a six yeah if we're going by (laughs) that by that interpretation a a third season six (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now that we haven't adjusted it yeah yeah sarah five still i'm going with five yeah yeah, yeah okay i'm okay. going maybe he's scored a five dude i'll i'll <laughs> line up with marvin i i, I feel it's in six territory maybe right. i mean we can only go for introducing we can only go all the up. new stuff and budget yeah. we can yeah, only go we, up from if we here start right? at five then we have somewhere to go up yeah, yeah. That's, that's true season. that's true that's true maybe that's why they did that yeah you know? i have a random like picky nerd question oh picky blinders if no, not that show, <laughs> but uh, like, shouldn't it be pretty obvious how intelligent these nanites are if their way of messing with the computer is to play Stars and Stripes forever? Yeah. Oh or my to just, god, or that to was just hilarious! Thrown off chess moves. Well, that I guess that scene could- was so funny. Like, yeah. he, he, I felt like he got so pissed when the, when the <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Was like, why is it a French? Uh, song? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but between like, that, that between the start and starts forever, the baseball, uh, and then the chess, yeah. stuff, it's like, uh, you you can't Jesus. get off of this goddamn twentieth century Star Trek. I really, I really wanted them to, to, to just it. be like the song that it played was twentieth century. Yeah. Everyone just Musically. like like stops and just starts listening and just like, they're like, they're like yeah, yeah. I feel sonic showers. It's a it's a ship wide sonic shower. <laughs> like, hey, everyone just that sound? It's yeah. clean. Yeah. <laughs> everyone just gets naked. They're like, all right. <laughs> Mandatory showers. <laughs> Uh, very good, very good. What a what a season premiere! Yeah. Uh, yes. you you would think they would try to hit it out of the park with a, a crazy. No, episode, they can't but... because they have to go up. You don't put your best first. Well, your premiere should be pretty memorable. <laughs> well, because they they wowed everybody with the credits already. They're like, that's all. We need to do. Yeah, I, m- maybe they did think that too. It is pretty. Is it is very beautiful. Uh, and the, and the new VFX are pretty good. That's so maybe all they, they were just like expecting, care about, you know, yeah. and then and then we'll hit them with the storylines, yeah. the, the good content. They're like yeah. everyone has new uniforms. That's yes. maybe yeah, maybe this is like there's such a big change for all the new viewers. So they're probably like yeah. this is just an episode, just this is a regular episode. Here's all the new things that have come. Yeah, in. It's like everything else is familiar, but look at all this shiny new visual yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, don't pay too much attention to the stupid nano story. <laughs> in fact, just turn the sound off and just look at things. Yeah, w- w- and Wesley's still on his stupid bullshit. Just yeah, pay just... attention to our snuggies. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe maybe they are the 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 Scooby Doo gang at the end. <laughs> maybe it's a Scooby Doo gang. Maybe, maybe, maybe they, uh, they're trying to, to solve the mystery solve of the, the, that, that piece of shit fucking Wesley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, the mask West, but Wesley is like the secret villain, you know, and they're oh, all trying to, you know, they take off the mask of the bad guy and it's Wesley. It's like, yeah. and I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling fellow kids. <laughs> yeah, but it's the opposite. They're like, <laughs> he's like, I would have gone to jail if you hadn't taken off this mask and revealed that I'm privileged. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! That would be an amazing Scooby Doo episode where they reveal him and they go, "Shit, he has diplomatic immunity. We can't arrest him." You know, we should have uh, kept the mask on. We could have, yeah, we kept it on. on. We could have just shot him, and we would have had, you know, plausible deniability. Yeah, let's see who you on. really are—an old rich white man. Oh no! Oh damn it, dude! Fuck! Oh well. Well, that was evolution. Thanks for listening, everybody. That was another discussion on newbie Star Trek. If you've been liking our discussion so far, uh, that'd be great. If you keep- <laughs> what? What? So, what? Someone's what? an hour and a half in. They're like yeah, they talked. They talked about this episode for thirty <laughs> minutes. And they rambled on about Tapatio for a goddamn hour. <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. If you like our Tapatio conversations, please. It's just absurd to to to. <laughs> 
invite the possibility of someone still listening to us if they didn't enjoy our discussion so far. I would hope so. <laughs> it could be hate listening. This, I don't know. If you got this far in. Yeah. Someone taking what? notes and they're like, and Listen, now we're in 41 minutes. If you <laughs> happen to thank me. <laughs> if you're actually <laughs> one of those people who have not been enjoying the discussion so far and you're still here, I promise you there is no closure coming your way. <laughs> You will not be satisfied. There's no closure. Yeah. Never. We will not give you satisfaction. No. So whether whether you've been enjoying the podcast or you've been hate listening and have made detailed notes about how we're all horrible people, uh, you, you know, give us a review. Head over to Apple Podcasts or wherever else they're doing reviews these days. Tell us yeah, how bad we are. Yeah. Tell us how bad we are. Tell us how much you love Tapatio. I mean, or if I you'd rather Tapatio. spit in our digital faces, if you can he- email us. Yeah. If you know if you know anybody at the Tapatio factory, let them know they should sponsor us. We'll get we'll get imagine that would be uh, El Señor hmm. Tapatio Captain? Luke hmm. Luke yeah. Tapatio? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll love that. We would love a yeah. Tapatio sponsorship if yeah. anyone has any connections. The <laughs> colors match. <laughs> the red, red shirt. <laughs> yeah. Again. Con permiso, you know? Tapatio. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, Capitan, remember? There were yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was foreshadowing hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We love Tapatio. We love Tapatio and our tostadas. Uh, when we're ordering ease, when we're, when, we're, <laughs> when, when we're downloading our internet and using VPNs, we yeah. love it all. Downloading yeah. the whole internet. Mm-hmm. The whole internet. <laughs> All right. Also, if you want to yell at us directly, you can yeah. contact us at <laughs> contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. And you might be uh, asking yourself, how do I yell at you? It would be an email. <laughs> then it, guess what, idiot? You record a sound file of you recording, <laughs> yeah. yelling, and re- yeah. you know, shouting that to your That would be phone. amazing if one day someone sends <laughs> an audio file. Do it. Somebody, to to somebody it. do it. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody, All right. Please. Well, this week we have we, we got two emails. They're not questions. So um, we got two emails just because we've been away for a little bit. So I'll just, <sighs> this one's from Mark. Dear newbie Star Trek, Mark from Arizona here, and I've been sitting on this email from a couple of episodes now. Oof. I've been binge listening to your podcast at work. I have two episodes left to listen to until I'm all caught up. I love the content and I can't get enough of it. And I really hope you decide to continue and do the entire franchise. Yes, I know that would be a daunting task, but I can't get enough of it. Marvin, I know you've been asking where to go from TNG and I wanted to try and help out. So here's my proposal. Seeing how how the first half of DS9 ran concurrently with the last half of TNG and Voyager ran concurrently with the last half of DS9, Star Trek should be watched in timeline order. That includes the movies. I propose when you guys review Star Trek Generations, the first TNG movie, you should go back and watch the six TOS movies as a flashback to Captain Kirk and the gang. I don't know. It's just a thought. I found a timeline order on Screen Rant and thought it might help you if you want to check out as well. And you send us a little link. Thanks again for the excellent content, deep dives and jokes along the way. It's seriously a blast listening when I get caught up. I'm going to go back and listen to your other podcasts. I can't get enough of you, Marv. Ricardo, Dan, and everyone else involved. Mark. Aww. Well, thank you, Mark. Oh, thank That's very you, nice Mark. of you. Yeah. Very nice. That warms nice. my old heart. Yeah. <laughs> it warms well, my old tapatio hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark, you're I'm rubbing luck. my heart with tapatio. It's just fake. <laughs> yeah. That, yes, you're in love because that's that's kind of our plan, actually. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for the helpful tips. Yeah, right. I think what we're actually planning to do is watch it in air date order of all three of those shows as they come yeah, out. Yeah, I remember an earlier email like mentioned that possibility, I think. And yeah, then yeah. That, that was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. A lot of people have been saying we should like just do entire. But I, I think a big part of what's been fun about the show is that for Ricardo and Sarah, we're kind of like recreating the feeling of watching it as the episodes came out weekly. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm, I've been kind of enjoying that. Um, yeah. I think, I think it's been a good dynamic. Um, I don't think we're going to go back to TOS movies though, because I think um, they would be pretty, pretty removed. I think from what's kind of going on with the TNG stuff. Yeah. Well, well <sighs> look, I guess we wanted to start here because this is the most digestible for somebody who's never seen Star Trek, right? Like that's yeah. Just really- it, 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 it's, it's helpful at least for us because Dan and I were generally f- familiar with TNG. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, I think if we went only the TOS, we'd just be like, "Oh, that's what happened. And that's we, what happened." We, we were all like- newbies. Where, where I think I think we should go, we should 
we should do everything in air date. So we should do the DS9 or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. <laughs> DS69. Um, mm-hmm. And then and then we'll do the the original series. We'll do those movies too, but we'll we'll backtrack eventually at the yeah. end, I think. I think um, that would be a good call if we if yeah. we then backtrack. Um, well, we're going to do this like in Tarantino movie. movie. We're just going to start in the fucking middle, <laughs> make our way through, yeah. and then I'll, we'll tell the beginning at the end. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served cold. Yeah. And it'll and take Klingon us like proverb. 15 yeah. years to get through everything. Yeah. I don't think That's- it'll take 10 years. I, I think... I think, uh, you know, once Tapatio starts dropping some fucking money, we quit our job and just do this full time. Yeah, exactly. I think think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, We need to get that lucrative Tapatio sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're after. All right. And uh, we just have uh, one more email. This one's from Justin. Uh, Hey, guys, love the season finale. And yeah, it was a piss poor episode. Just (laughs) wanted to drop a suggestion. Uh, Maybe y'all could add a camera setup and film the podcast as well and post it on YouTube as a separate channel. Some of us listeners would love to see you guys talk Trek. Uh, as with every Star Trek series, with the exception of Enterprise, he means that because Enterprise ended after two seasons. Uh, season three is usually when the show picks up. Can't wait for you all to do season three, especially the finale. Well, we're on Ooh. The way. Hey. okay. Well, he's kind of hinted that it's going to be good, so it better be. The yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the end of season three is famous. Really? Well, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Ca- let's not. Let's not. I'm excited. Too too I haven't let's looked not, it up online yeah. or anything. Yeah. But well, well look, uh, I don't know how you guys all feel, but I would be okay if 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 I'll tell you this, dude. If you, uh, who is this? Is this Mark? Tim? Who who wrote Justin. this? Email? This is just Justin. 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 Uh, let's make a goal. If we if we get through, if we get to close to the end of this this season three, and we reach a certain number of subscribers. We will do. A t- we should just get together and just film us in the same room, and we'll get a mixer. And you know, what I mean, like maybe we'll film it, yeah. and it'll be like a like the the finale would be the film one, and we'll release yeah. both audio maybe, and film. Maybe we'll tr- we'll, tr- we'll figure something out because, like, yeah. I t- for the YouTube thing. To be honest, Justin, I have some ideas in mind. I mean, I've been cooking it up for about a month and a half, actually. Of uh, because I don't want to just throw the podcast. Well, for one, I should explain to Justin. Uh. The podcast is actually really heavily edited. Like, yeah, if you do not at my time- actually sound this smart, which <laughs> yeah. is already yeah, like kind of alarming. Of- yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's mainly cut for for uh, pacing us and us and does. Yeah, no. we we tend to. I, I remove a lot of like pauses and ums, and sometimes when people are. Um, talking over a little too much, and I kind of just spread it out. Yeah, you, you have to like do that. the you have to do the slur removal. Yeah, <laughs> the so mumble, many slurs. Uh, I mumble too much, <laughs> or but, yell too high. So, so, so there are they are uh, really heavily edited. But that being said, uh, there is I didn't want to just throw it up on YouTube the audio tracks and be like, there it is, because it's kind of boring. There mm-hmm. is a plan for some sort of visual component to go along with these one day. Um, but I have to kind of basically the person I want to talk to that might be able to do it. Uh, he's like, he can do like, I don't want to say too much, but like some CG stuff and stuff like that. And I want, to, but he's like currently busy. So when his schedule, so you, opens are you up, saying we get a fucking green screen and we're in the fucking, saying, uh, yeah, we get to be Muppets. We're, yeah, we're in the goddamn, <laughs> we're in the goddamn sex planet. dude. Well, well, listen, well, uh-huh. when we get to that bridge and, and, and like things cr- cross, uh, we're crossing I'm not that kissing bridge. Wesley. <laughs> you have to do I'm not gonna to. fucking do that. Yeah. Well, not we'll you. Make you do it. You on is camera. common. You is common. Oh my gosh. We should all we should all dress up on yeah. camera as our favorite characters. I'm gonna I'm gonna get old up and be the the guy yeah. getting a massage in that six planet. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That would oh, be amazing. Man. Oh no, no, you have to dress up as Tasha. And oh. then <laughs> at the sex planet. I get Yeah, you. yeah, exactly. And then I'll I guess I don't know. I'll dress up as Wesley. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be Wesley. the crystalline entity. <laughs> <laughs> it's cover uh, me in glass. <laughs> You're, it's dangerous to sit around you. Yes, <laughs> it's also dangerous for me to do anything. <laughs> God damn it. Uh well, thank you for the emails, Mark and Justin. They were very nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks, guys. Also, we have a really minor, well, not a minor announcement, just like a, a just a kind of an announcement. Uh, we did an interview for the Event Horizon show on Sci-Fi Radio, uh, and that interview should be coming out 
on their channel, which is, it's not a channel, it's a radio station. Like I, I always refer to like everything that's streaming as like a channel. Um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just the yeah. future. Everything. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you, you literally go to sci-fi dot radio. That's like a URL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And on November 13th and 14th, uh, which is a Saturday and a Sunday, the event horizon, our, the interview that we did for them, uh, is going to air at 4 PM Pacific time, uh, 7 PM Eastern time. So that's in the 13th and 14th. And then it's going to air again on the 18th and 20th of November, which is a Thursday and a Saturday. And those are going to air at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and then 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because those are for Japan. And then after that, it'll just be released as a podcast on their own RSS stream as well. Uh, so, yeah, if you, if you want to see yeah. us having a nice conversation with Gene Turbo yeah. and Susan Fox, they were very nice to have us in their show. Yes. Yep. Who are more knowledgeable about Star Trek, oh, generally yeah. speaking, oh, than yes. any of us. Yeah. We listen, were, we were listen pretty to the podcast. Listen <laughs> oh, yeah. to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, they don't have any our cursing or goddamn <laughs> no, <yeah>. jokes. <laughs> but yeah, if you've you ever know. wanted to listen to us without any swearing, yeah. <laughs> that's that a was the hardest to go. Yeah, that was the hardest thing it I've was ever done. Ve- I was legitimate because you know how we get <laughs> into a difficult. groove and we just start talking yeah. how we do. Yeah, we yes. were starting to in yep. that interview, and we got really close a few times. I literally yeah. paused myself several times, like, "Wait, yeah, we're on a we're on a radio station. <laughs> we can't. Keep it PG." Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, would, but yeah, yeah, that was. What that would was Gene Roddenberry do? <laughs> Probably write himself as a bitch ass character. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, an example that... of what you won't hear on that show. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, uh, by the time this podcast comes out, it'll yeah. already have aired yeah. uh, on the Sci Fi Radio. But the Thursday and Friday ones, and then it'll be a podcast anyway. So you should be able to just watch it there. If but you yeah. want to not listen to me talk, because I was like, I, I just, I just won't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to warm up. There's just nothing to say. <laughs> so like, I could, I could see you the moment they, they, they brought a measure of a man. Everyone was like, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you're sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Ricardo just couldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, I, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they they were very nice. It, it was a fun talk. Uh, minor spoil, like a little spoiler for that interview. Uh, Gene worked on Star Trek, so we were like, "Oh shit!" And yeah, he worked on a fairly cool. famous prop that is yeah. like infamous. In- if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of an infamous prop in uh, the the sci fi the low budget sci fi movie TV show world. So yeah, but yeah, listen so was, to the interview to find out what yeah. that is. Yeah, catch that at sci fi radio, and then. Yeah, let's plug our other shit, I guess. We should do that. We have other stuff going on with the Fugitive Frames film podcast going on. Ricardo, mm-hmm. we did a bunch of stuff for Halloween, didn't we? We did two things. Uh, it's, it's already out. It's already out. We did a... We did a, 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 a um, the Drag Me to Hell commentary track. Drag Me to Hell commentary. It, you know, it's good year round. It's not just good for... for you know what? It's <laughs> funny because... Halloween happened and then I was like oh yeah there's a bunch of it always happened this way like I, I discovered like oh yeah I should, I should rewatch that because I haven't watched it since I was a kid mm. so there's a lot of horror stuff that I've been rewatching. that's mm. it's it's past so we might revisit some of that stuff uh, Adam and I did a pod, uh, podcast on Haunted Houses uh, Haunted oh House yeah 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 that was fun movies oh, okay uh, and um and we just discovered like it's funny because we were like we'll just do real fast we'll do a thirty minute podcast and then it was like an it was an hour and just two of us talking yeah so well, you got into quite a discussion about like what is a haunted house yeah and yeah, yeah. to kind of define it make sure yeah even though we, we both like cheated series and stuff because then you could put in like rose red and crap <gasps> yeah, I love yeah. rose red oh we, my god we gosh. we talked about um the the film series house there's a house film series mm, yeah yeah right right um but yeah this there's, there's a fun chat with that we're we're getting close to so uh, we did a marvel phase one episode a drunk film episode um and we're gonna do phase two of, of the marvel look if you want serious talk about marvel you the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is not the place to, to be. <laughs> if you want to hear somebody complain about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> which is my friend Savannah, then, yep. then go to that episode. We're going to be recording our second episode soon. Um, I mean, to put it in perspective, her favorite movie uh, for the first phase was Thor. Yeah, just because so. she, she, it was eye candy. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you have it. Um, someone who ha- actively hates the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> um, 
So it's basically us trying that to should be the title of the series. I hate the Marvel Cinematic. Universe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> phase two. <laughs> I hate it a, even more. I mean, that's pretty good. I yeah. hate the MCU phase one. Yeah. I hate yeah. the MCU phase two. It's two. <laughs> um, but that that was fun to talk to because she just hates all of them. Um, <laughs> I can definitely relate. Uh, I wish I had saved uh, her and I were, were working at a, a certain company that had a Slack channel. Mm. And she would slack me as she was watching them. And mm. I wish I'd saved the slack, but once we left that company, the right, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the slack thread went away. But I was like, ah, I should have just saved it because it was it was a lot of funny, like, oh, oh boy, <laughs> now this is happening. Well, who the fuck is this guy? Who's this green guy? <laughs> so there's a lot of those tweets that, that would have been. Why is he Mark Ruffalo to. now? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a different who who is this guy? Wait, they changed this person? Um <laughs> So anyway, uh, we're doing that. We did the Drag Me to Hell, and uh, it's- We also had an episode that um, kind of it, it took a look at Squid Game. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, we yeah. did. We did. Sarah, Dan, um, and I, we- uh, we. Did just, you guys do two of those? Just one. Just one. Just uh, one. Okay. It was, it was one. more of like we watched it one weekend, and then a yeah. weekend later, we were like, let's talk about it, because we were still thinking about it a little bit. Um, yeah. uh, it, and, then, and then we have some takes, just because like- Dan and I are Korean. It's a Korean show. So we're kind of like, oh, there's just some things here that we're like, oh, it's interesting because it's like, that's a, it's kind of a Korean thing there, but it's like kind of weird here. And it's like, it's getting a lot of credit here. But, you know, Dan thinks it's like, oh, this is actually more interesting in this video game when they did it, you know? So it's that sort of thing, you know? And are you guys going to do more of those with series like that? I think just whenever it it fancies us. I think moving forward, I think what we might do is whenever I want to do Cowboy Bebop. See, yeah, oh, yeah, I'd I be down to do that. I, I want to. Yeah. So, so, so Dan and I love Cowboy Bebop, the animated series. I don't remember it. I was so high when I watched it. So see that that'd be <laughs> interesting then to have your perspective as well to be like, yeah. what do you think of this weird John yeah. Cho version? So <laughs> yeah, where he looks like a little boy in a suit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little boy blue. Yeah, so I I don't know. Maybe I I, I honestly do okay. hope it's I, good. At the risk of sounding extremely racist, I have to ask this question. <laughs> Is John Cho actually squinting all the time? <laughs> I well, okay. One, we're Korean, so let's we're fine. Uh he's also Korean. We're, just gonna <laughs> we're immune. Yeah. 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 So I I think legitimately he has relaxed eyes. So he's just kind of like not like being he's active like a, with he's, them he's like a cholo dude I can say that because I'm Hispanic I can say that because I'm Hispanic we have to defend everything I, he's I, saying now I legitimately do think he's kind of like in a relaxed state Um, because when yeah. he there, there are shots of him doing uh the kung fu and it, it does you know do close ups and stuff he does look more intense his eyes are like more bulgy because uh, mm-hmm. he's exerting himself so I think it's just more of like a relaxed state he tends to be in when he's trying to act cool, which is like the point of Spike. He's like kind of lazy and not doing much stuff unless he's kicking butt. Uh, but yeah, it's it's that'll be an interesting take in quotes. Cause I don't it's, expect it's, the series to be good for the record. Yeah, I'm, I just want to see it. And nothing I've seen of it so far. Say. <laughs> nothing I've seen of it so far says this is going to be good to me. <laughs> you know what's hard to do? And I mean, a lot of YouTubers are making a lot of money. So they get, they, they don't have day jobs and they just watch the goddamn shows. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we do have day jobs. <laughs> so it's hard. It's hard to just sit up like the whole night and be like, okay, we're going to just fucking watch this whole night. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. That's record absolutely in the mor- true. Record in the morning. And then, so, you know, sometimes our, our episodes are a little, are a little behind, but hey, you know what? It's fine. It's dude. fine. It's fine. It's a, um, we're t- it's all different takes of, yeah. of a, a similar sheet of music. Yeah. You know, that's well, that's the way I, I think of it. <laughs> so that's a Fugitive Frames film podcast. I think what we're going to try to generally do a bit more is if like two of us, just two of us at least have seen something that it seems like, yeah, let's just talk about it. We'll just talk about it on the yeah. film podcast and we'll just do it. Like so, Luis Miguel, so- the series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Sarah and I are going to sit down and watch and, and talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's a big Luis Miguel fan. Yeah. What was that? What was that show that you guys both knew about? Step by step. You guys are both going to have a oh, step by yeah. step. Oh yeah. We should do newbie step by step. That's me. It's cousin Cody. <laughs> <laughs> newbie step by step. Yeah. I, I don't even know what's about. So. Oh Marvin, you sweet summer child. <laughs> 
So that's, uh, that's the Fugitive Frames film podcast. And also we have a YouTube channel, which is Fugitive Games. And uh, Dan and I just wrapped up Batman Arkham Origins, the DLC stuff. For so, good. Yeah. So that game is dead now. Uh, we, we, that should be going up by the time this podcast comes out. And also, uh, we're going to keep going through Paper Mario, the Origami King, because uh, that's going to be fun. And also, we had just finished that Outer Wilds DLC, Echoes of the Eye. That was very interesting. Uh, fun time. It, yeah. It's spooky. Spooky in parts. Uh, but we found ways to circumvent and we found ways to get to the ending in a satisfactory way eventually. <laughs> so that, that was, that was a really fun bunch of streams. And yeah, Dan in general, I think might be streaming for Metroid Dread. One day I might go back to Mass Effect. I really should. It's been a while. Um, yeah, well, we're going to just be putting a bunch of stuff out on that channel and all of those things you can find at Fugitive Frames. Dot com. I guess I should make one more plug just because uh, my distributor has been doing it. There's also a feature film I made once. It's called A Night's Tour, not A Night's Tale, Night's Tour. Uh, and yeah, you can watch it for free on Tubi and a bunch of other platforms. I think Tubi just happens to be the most easily accessible free platform if you watch it. It's like a post-apocalyptic film. If you're mm -hmm. interested at all, you can also find that at FugitiveFrames.com or just go to Tubi and Google it and find A Night's Tour. It's, it's fairly easy to find. But. Yeah, that's, a, that's another episode of Newbie Star Trek. Next week, we're going to be watching The Ensigns of Command. Uh, that's mm. not something I remember either. Hmm. Sounds Is that an attempt at a, command, a, a pun on like the essence of command? It might be. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I hmm. guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find we'll, out we'll, next we'll week. See. Yeah, but in the meantime, everybody stay safe. We'll see you in a week. We're not going to take... We might take a little break... Uh, later on for thanksgiving but next week we'll be back so we'll be back we'll be back next week all right see you soon goodbye bye everybody. everyone fun journey bye. it's -a me luigi's a dick <laughs> <laughs>